after the ocean swallowed Atlantis. And before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. Sorcerers cast evil spells and fantastic creatures stalked the earth. A time when the many were ruled by the few. In this world lived an adventurer destined to be its king. A man in whose veins flowed the blood of ancient Atlantis. He is a Sumerian, born on the battlefield, strengthened by time and trial. He is Conan. Master. Don't think. Just go out in the hall and wait. And now. Go! It's ordained that the warrior will be king of Samaria. I am the king of Samaria. You will be slain by a descendant of Atlantis who carries the Greek blade. Slain? Slain? Who talks about slain? How can I avoid such wild rumors? You can find the chosen one and kill him before he kills you. Good thinking. But how am I supposed to know who he is? He will be of pure Sumerian blood, and he will bear the sword of Atlantis that you see in your dreams. You will provide enough meat to get me to Tiberia. Almost a dead one. No, I am a woman. You're right. Almost a dead woman. 
Why did you steal my meat? You don't look underfed. My village is hungry. How can they be hungry? This is rich land. Yes, but we are taxed by Hisazul. His soldiers took most of our crops. The men of my village are farmers. They're not hunters. Why should I feed your village? The people of your village wouldn't feed me, a stranger. Well, some would and some wouldn't. But if you let me keep that hindquarter, I would prepare you a fine meal. I'll go get the things for my camp. But don't waste your time looking for the rest of that steer. Why? It's already uh, back at the village. How? Well, while you chased me, some friends stole the rest of your kill. So I'm a guest of my own meal, whether I like it or not. You will like it. Who's strong? Well, is that important to you? Not to be weak is more important. Why do you always bring him with you? Why do you keep him around? If you do not grasp the powers of magic, General Goroth, it will be the death of you. Perhaps, my lord, I would grasp it. You gave me some powers of my own. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Do you still control the Sumerians? You rule them. Do I control them? They are a barbarous lot. How would you know you never fight? I have. They are as tough as the roots of the oldest trees, my lord. I only wish you to find one man amongst them and dispose of him. That should present no great challenge, my lord. He is a man of great strength and power, much larger than you, General Goroth, and he wields a huge blade, a close relation of the blades of the lost country of Atlantis. Such blades have not been seen in my lifetime. I would much prefer that this one would not be used by anyone else but you, It would be my pleasure, my lord. Here is a boy. My lord. What do you want of me? Get rid of the little rat, or I will do it for you. Hardly wait in the hall. But you don't yes. Do as I say! Hmm? Search the villages in your region for the man. Feed your men with the supplies of the other villages. General Goroff will show you how. We will follow Gorin. If any of his men find the Sumerian, they will send for him. Is that what Hissazul wants? Don't worry about what Hissazul wants. If Gorath gains more power than me, we will be dust. Keep up! Or I will leave you for the dogs to chew on. Never knows. I, I, I know. <laughs> Listen, all the trays are cupped high. This wonderful barbarian was a bride of. With a feast! Ah! Here. Here. 
and with our cups even higher to the beautiful Tamara. Ah! Ah! Yeah, and yeah. cooking skills and giving us this wonderful taste. You have quite an appetite. I've traveled a great distance. And how many piles of bones did you have in front of you to get this far? Many. What he wants to know is where you came from. Only he wants to know. Well, we all do. And I do. I come from Sumeria to the northwest. Traveled a long, long way to Amaria, Patrunia, and Numedia. And Singara and Ophia. Oh, that's where Azazul has great power. His evil sorcery is known in many lands. So you came here, ran away from him? I do not run from anyone. Since I became a free man, something pulls me to move on. How could anyone enslave you? They attacked my village when I was a child. They killed most of the people and took their children. And you became a slave? I was a prisoner, never a slave. I learned of cruelty and hunger. I survived with the help of a blade. And now I am following a destiny I do not yet understand. And it drew you here to our village? Huh. You stole my food. That's what drew me here. Huh. You would never stay in a village like this, would you? No. I've never been beyond. What is it like out there? Sometimes dangerous, but filled with wonder. Is there no beauty? There's always some beauty. Do you think that I belong in a village like this? If you leave, there would be no beauty here at all. for a sword, a great sword with rubies in the hilt. A Sumerian carries it. I have seen no such sword. Perhaps this will help your memory. Such great strength, you have a very gentle touch. And for such a soft body, you have a hard head. <laughs> you fight well. You admire my strength? 
You're like steel wrapped in silk. And they think I'm beautiful? Hmm. He said so, so you cannot deny it. By crumb, that is the truth. Then my sons would be beautiful too. Could you imagine me there in your sons? Lately, I can imagine many things. Never put a woman to sleep before. Hmm. <sighs> Is the barbarian the one we seek? I do not know. I did not get to see his sword. So, you were run off by this barbarian, a bunch of farmers. Defeated by a pack of farmers. You have disgraced my army. You should have died in battle. Turn around. Let's fly! Now he shows courage. We ride at dawn. I want no farm. No hut, no cart, not even a miserable bucket left intact. We'll grind that village, every last farmer, and the barbarian into dust, and scatter it to the four winds! waiting outside. Is he leaving us? No. He said he spent the night with you and he didn't get any sleep at all. Okay. Tell me he didn't do anything. Shame on you for peeking into Shadow's go. Being shameless is a privilege of the old. Oh. <laughs> Come out and meet as quick as you can. You have succeeded in being shameless. I hope so. Here, I'll show you. Before you came, the soldiers never even attacked us. They took the food and went. They didn't take away our hunger. Is that soul told us when to live, when to die? You think that's fair? He gives us water, wind, and sun. The forces of nature are not controlled by one man. Is that soul? Is a ruthless man? He wrote me once. Now I am free. You can leave this village. And go where? All the land is under the same rule. We cannot fly away to another world. Listen to me. He's a soul. He's a wizard. One of the worst of the kind. He surrounds himself by beauty, but that's just a ploy. He's one of the worst wizards of all wizards. I do not like wizards and what they do. I will remember. What you said. Listen, Nico. I... <laughs> I had a dream the other night. You took Isaiah Agasul and you killed him with your great blade. And you became king. I do not wish to be king. You can't avoid it. Over there. The rest of 
you behind this big house. Wait for the pass before you attack. You should try to talk to them first. You talk to them. Tamir, you go with the men to the big hut. No, Conan. You no. go with the men to the big hut. No! No, Conan! No! <sighs> No king. You will be. You are so very beautiful.
could have gotten him off me sooner. Use quicker magic next time. Ride with him in the back. Will you ride with the beautiful girl? Get in the cart. Where do you think you're going? She will make a fine servant, and he will make a fine slave. This is the barbarian I am searching for? He is not. He doesn't have the sword. Show him, Otley. I go to finish the killing. But I warn you, Yara, if you are deceiving me, I will find you. You have threatened me before, General. I am still here. Let me go! Where is Conan? Domestic problem? She's a village girl. She's having trouble adjusting to the fine clothes. If she becomes too problematic, I would be happy to take her off your hands. And she wouldn't have to worry about the clothes. Do what I pay you for. But this amount of gold I would test your warrior in the ring of death myself. Put your best against him. You do not get the gold back if we kill him. If your warriors kill him, I will give you the girl. <laughs> you will not give him the girl. He doesn't know that. Now go eat with the warriors. They are prisoners, my lord. Their food is unfit. Then go hungry. But my lord, I deserve to... Where am I? Where he will stay with a new master. <laughs> no, Zeban, he does not like the chains. But what man does, huh? <laughs> Where am I? Morgus compound. Where the food is slop, but thankfully the portions are small. <laughs> Come here! Where is the girl that was with me? Why don't you speak? He does not speak. He is mute. I know nothing of a girl and would prefer not knowing the men I may have to kill. I doubt that. I don't stay healthy keeping people alive. Then why don't you kill your captors? We are trained to fight and kill each other every day. That does not lead to unity.
It's not needed. was a good plan for a barbarian. Now that we no longer have to kill each other, I am Volkar, he is Zebin. What was that for? You hit me on the head with the axe handle. You looked away. He wants to know where we go now. I'm going after Tamir. Where is she? I don't know. I do. Tell me where she is. I will show you. Just tell me. What would that accomplish? Am I a trophy you would be proud of? No, but I wouldn't have to waste time playing games with you. And you would not find your woman. I can help you. Why would you leave your master, Yara? Because I want no master. Just because I'm small does not mean I'm not a man. I feel, I hope, I live. I am not a toy to be used and beaten at the whim of a madman. You change sides too quickly. A lifetime is not too quickly. You use me, I use you. A partnership of convenience. <laughs> I can find her without you. Not if you do not know where you're going. There are other people who know where Yara is. They will not tell you. They'll be too afraid. You never know when he'll use a, a tree or, or a bird or a rock for spying. Or you. If you lead me into a trap, 
You will be the first one to die. Or the last. Who kills me is of little concern. We can also go with you if you need us. No. I'll go alone. Hey, what am I? You're only a guide to lead me. Agreed. Perhaps we should follow him. <laughs> you speak quite clearly, my friend, and with wisdom. And Rena sold me to Yara. I don't know why she did that. I was always loyal. There's never been a question of my loyalty. You don't talk much, do you? You talk too much. No such thing as talking too much. Words are how men communicate. When they don't talk, they have misunderstandings, and then they wind up killing each other. Men talk with swords. <laughs> the world is becoming a civilized place, my friend. It no longer matters who has the biggest sword. What? What is it? Where are you going? That's not the way to Yara's castle. It is the way we must go.
you take that sword, we can have trouble. He's dead. The sword is mine. I'm gonna die in here, aren't I? Only if you choose to. I knew this wasn't a good idea. more caves, okay? Now you know why I hate caves. Fog and rivers and all sorts of things. I don't know why we went in there in the first place. I told you. I was led there by some force. It was this sword. I am the sword. It is my symbol. I am Kron. This is more sorcery I do not understand. This is your god. I know no magic, only the true power. I have led you to the Sword of Atlantis, and it is yours. The mummy has guarded it for centuries and has fulfilled his duty. Wanted me to kill him? He was dead already. You wasted no life. It was the test that started at your birth. All your pain and hardships have been a test. My mother and father died to test me? What kind of god are you? I am their god also. They are now on this side with me. I needed a great warrior to right the wrongs. You are that warrior. Trust the sword. Grip it as you would whip my arm. Then trust your next thought. It will light your path. It will be with you. Your parents are very proud of you.
there's something that bothers me. If your guy Kron cares about you, why does he test you? Because he chooses to. Wouldn't it be simpler to ask you a couple of questions? Ah. Oh. Who is this barbarian? He is Conan! A great warrior. Armies everywhere would give a hundred horses to have him on their side. And I'm the Thea, the Virgin Queen of Alpha. Really? Do I look like a Virgin Queen? Close. If I had known how much you'd eat, I would have left you in the forest. I traveled a great distance, and I did not ask to be invited. Then you should stay awake and travel by horseback. Hmm. Sometimes I do. What did you do with your last horse? Eat it? No. I'm sure you have it. Where's my sword? It deserves it. Thank you. I am Corella, Queen of Thieves. Have you heard of me? No. Usually people who enter my forest with weapons don't leave with them. Usually people who push me in the river don't live. Where are you headed, Barbarian? To find the Wizard Yara. Oh. Uh, the Wizard Yara. I know him. He possesses a fine jewel they call the heart of an elephant. Mm. I have always wanted to steal it. But only a fool would steal from a wizard. He has another jewel. Called Amira, which I will steal. I did not take you for a fool. I'll pay you back one day for your kindness. You could repay me now. I would rather find Artley. I never let a stranger see my hidden lair and then just walk away. And I have never let anyone stop me from going where I want to go. Don't worry. I shall keep the secret of your lair. <laughs> Perhaps one day we'll meet again. When you have less urgent business. I take it we're in a hurry?
No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm tired of walking. No, see, maybe they, these riders are friendly and they'll lend us a horse. No, no, if not, then we'll take some. Who are you and who do you serve? I'm Dor and I serve no one. We have nothing to protect. But where do you ride to? Or do you just enjoy the smell of sweating horses? <laughs> we search for a warrior named Conan. We hope he'll lead us. To do what? To rid this land of Hisazul. <laughs> we know Conan. If you'll spare us a couple of horses, we will ride with you to find him. Ridding the land of his Azul is another matter and not our business. We have but one horse, but you must share a saddle. I know, I know. You can't talk and you hate horses. like to be my size? I was your size. When I was four. <laughs> Nobody takes you seriously. Nobody. Maybe it's a hat you're wearing. What's wrong with my hat? It's too close to the ground. You see? You ridicule me too. No. Enemies ridicule. I just tease you a little. Are you calling me a friend? If you lead me to Tamira, you will be a big one. I could surprise them. But for a moment, they are too strong. We need more men and better weapons before we try to face Goroff. These are the men that destroyed our village. Would you add your name to the list, farmer? Seem content. It's strange. Yara prefers it that way. What is this fog? Right now it is harmless, but Yara can poison it any time he wishes. He also sends serpents scurrying through it to kill those he once killed. All manner of things. Ah! Just kidding, like friends do. Where do we have to go? Yara would have the jewel in the tower. He would also have the girl there. Thank you. 
There are guards in the ground, but I know a way in back. When we get inside the wall, jump up once in a while so I can see you. Is that a joke? Do you hear me laughing? <laughs> there is no fog inside the wall. We will probably have her up there in his wing of the castle. Wait here. Uh, do try to remember he is a wizard. Wizards can die. So can we. sons with you is all I have thought about. Hey. How will we escape? The door to my room is open, but I can't leave. It's like a, there's an invisible wall, and he's kept me here like a prisoner. Oh, I think not. I would say more like bait. Barbarian bait. Let us go, wizard, or I cut you in half. That is a great sword. You will need it where you are going. Kill me, and she stays in that state forever. Do my bidding, and I set her free. What do you want? I want you to go to the tower and steal the heart of the elephant. I was told it was yours, and that your power comes from it. Stolen from me by the creature that guards it. I still have enough power to control you. I want it back. What creature guards it? It matters not. It would matter greatly to me. Bring me the heart, and I release Tamira. Fail, and she is mine for a thousand lifetimes. Release her from the mirror, and I will go. Why would I do that? Because you want the stone, and you don't want to die. She's still in a trance. And there she will stay until you return. You may leave by the door this time. Yara's treasure room. There are more. When I was young, I always figured I would start to grow. Any minute. I waited a long time, but... Uh... Ah! 
should have done this before. You? You noticed. Look, if you're going to be on top of me, at least lean on your elbows. What are you doing here? You said only fools would steal from wizards. I changed my mind. There was a dead guard out there. He was strangled. He was trying to kill Jan. Meet Jan. He's my best archer. Ha! Jan kills Conan. I cut Jan's throat. She kills me. I don't like this game. Hardly said there are more guards out there. I don't know. We just got here. Is there another entrance? Maybe over there. the risks. You can have all the other jewels in the tower, but I must have the heart of the elephant. No! I came here for that stone too. Yara will not set Tamira free until I bring him the stone. Listen, barbarian. I may have been born in the dark, but it wasn't last night. He speaks the truth. Never has a woman that I've never even met. Come between me and the things that I want so many times. Do you agree? All the other stones? No tricks. I must meet this Tamira sometime. more like it. You are welcome to the heart of the elephant, barbarian. Are you sure that no thief has ever come out of it alive? Naria one. Oh. Look at this stone. It's beautiful. Maybe the guards below killed some of the thieves. But what killed the rest? Whatever killed the rest is beyond that door. The Greeks of sorcery. As much as it saddens me, my lovable giant, I'm gonna let you have the rest of this adventure. I could protect Corella. Wait here.
You killed my mate. Lower your sword. There will be plenty of time to kill me. I do not trust sorcery. There are many kinds of sorcery. Some of it good, and some of it evil. Which are you? That would depend on whom you ask. I would call that creature in the next room evil. Once she was not. The wizard Yara learned at my knee, but he wasn't happy. He wanted it all. He wanted to rule over man and beast. When I refused, he turned my beautiful wife into that monster you saw. And me into this creature that sits before you. I'm sorry about your wife. But it is my woman I will risk you with this stone. In death, my wife is at last free. What you did was not bad. She died of love. Your love for another. I do not understand why Yara doesn't walk in and take the stone. His powers are strong, but not complete. He needs the stone for that. He will be helpless in my tower. For 200 years, he sent countless thieves. Spider killed all those who got through my garden. If I kill Yara, can you free my woman? No! You must give Yara the stone. Then I will be responsible for giving him total power. Trust me. Why? The one who killed Spider would be the one who would kill me and thus deliver the stone. You must give him the stone. I cannot kill you. You are not my enemy. Cut out my heart and take the blood and squeeze it over the stone. You would be setting me free from this terrible body and joining me with my love in a world that is far better than this place. I understand well. Wanting to be with your love. When you give Yara the stone, tell him that Yagosha gives you one last gift and one last enchantment. Those words, exactly. Where is the girl from the village? Why? Listen, wizard. Whatever my army leaves undestroyed, Hisa Zul will finish. Where is she? I need her right now. You can have her later. Take her out of her trance. She isn't under a spell. Surely no woman would stay with you who weren't under a spell. She's in the village square. <laughs> Sunrise. It was beautiful from up here. Did you get the stone? I'm beginning to have faith in your crown. There's hope for you, Otley. Where is he? He's... 
behind you, hunting for you, always in your nightmares. Do not test me. If you kill me, you'll be signing your own death warrant. So be it. Tamira. Let me see it and I will tell you where she is. Goreth took her. She's in the village square waiting for you. I will kill you! Not while I possess this stone. <laughs> I was told to tell you, Yakosha gives you one last gift and one last enchantment. No! You betrayed me! Lord, you find sons, Conan. Oh, strong sons with eyes like the sky. You still will. Oh, I can see the next world. Oh, it is beautiful. This is my fault. It happened because of me. No, Conan. Evil people will always want you and those around you dead. You are free. You will not and you must not ever submit. You promise me that. Promise me. But fighting at your side gave me joy. It took your life. No, it was my life. As short as it was, I breathed a different air with you. Free air. It was delicious. I don't want to lose you. You will never lose me. Whenever you set someone free, I will be there. Remember, I love you. You will make a great king, my barbarian. Search for the barbarian, my lord. What? It was unsuccessful. Unsuccessful? Who told you to stop the search? I killed his woman in the streets of Arenjun. He will come to us. 
Sometimes you surprise me, General Gorok, and this time you make me very happy. Deploy your I am your servant, my lord. Is that the woman you sought? I am sorry. Did you follow me? Along with some of the farmers from the village. Did many survive this slaughter? A few. But they have gathered others. And you are with them? No. No, Kona. Zeban and I have talked. We are with you. Show me where the others are. If you are prepared to die as free men, then you can also prepare to live as free men. They have lost everything. Some of them blame it on you. I've also lost everything. Tamira is gone. Blame me or not. Will you follow me? I will. For revenge or freedom? Both. Then let's go to fight and win! Tell me one thing. Why does Hisanzul wish you dead? I do not know. I do. One of the long dead told Hisanzul that you are the one destined to kill him. Why did you wait to tell me this? I'm not a changed anything. And until now, we were too busy with Yara. This is all's vision shows you with the sword of Atlantis. He fears that most. Then he fears Kram. And then he will also fear me. Are there jewels in His Azul's castle? I have other reasons to be there. Well, I don't. I guess there are many jewels. But there's also revenge. Stealing and revenge are noble concepts. Do you have a plan? Yes. Glad to see you survived the tower. Why? Would you have felt that if I hadn't? You'll never know, will you? find so many men. Alert the troops. We still have surprise on our side.
It's time for the wizard. The battle went badly, Master. You could have said that with more regret. I cannot regret, since I have no future and cannot change my past. What about the barbarian, the chosen one? He is running through the woods to the castle now. And what about General Gorold? Why did you not just say that he was dead? Because you have been known to vanquish the messenger, Master. You have been dead for a very long time. You are a skull with no body. Then there will be nothing for Conan to slay. He will be arriving here soon. Then hmm. what can we use against him? You are running out of soldiers, Master. I would suggest you call upon your own talents. And you are suggesting that I make you flee from the barbarians? Since I lack the ability to run, I suggest that you have us both disappear. Meanwhile, I intend to do the best I can by myself. I should give you two him to the barbarian. But on the other hand, perhaps you're right. You will not delay long. We will finish in the zoo together. What? It's going to be difficult to steal stones from a castle that doesn't exist. You've done something good. You don't feel better? No, just poorer. <clears throat> now I feel better. I have wounded that need care. I will ask Crumb to spare them. Till next time. And no more empty promises. Quite a woman. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I don't know if one would sleep well at night. She seems to enjoy killing. I don't know. That's what makes her special. See? Lying one's head down at night, not knowing if it will still be on your shoulders when you wake up in the morning. <clears throat> you all fought bravely. Now you can return to your village and live a peaceful life. Kevin and I are not men of peace. And you would get in too much trouble without my guidance. <laughs> okay. I go after his Azul. It is best if I go alone. Then go alone. But we are on the same quest. Shall we walk behind you? Or walk alongside you as friends? I would never deny you this friendship. And perhaps it's time you mimic Zebin and be silent. You have a big enough mouth to blows off you. the ocean swallowed Atlantis, and before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. Just 
destiny was to free the oppressed and become a king by his own hand. Kona. I don't like horses, dark places, or water over a foot deep. We were headed east trying to locate Hisazul's stronghold, and already we're running into two out of the three. Eat the horses. Walk? If they are injured, we will do a great deal more walking. is never level and smooth. We could go around! The Sword of Atlantis led us in this direction. There is need for our sea. We have to follow it. You take one step, I take two. And on top of it, I have to eat cold food. Quit complaining! We all want a hot meal. He's afraid of the legends of Asgard. Legends? What legends? The legends of beast men who live in the mountain and an old witch who lures men into her grasp. It's old wives' tales, huh? Just in case the old wives were right. Somebody give me a hand. At least somebody has a heart. And he's dry. Papers up. I can make it! Seven! Hardly this way! What about the beast men? Beast men, here I come. Up the mountain! Do it. 
What's the matter? Heights frighten you? <laughs> oh, well. What we need now is a nice, cheerful fire. They say the pass that leads to the valley beyond is somewhere up here, if we could find it. I will. You're not gonna leave us here, are you? You can come with me, or wait until I come back. Have a safe trip. Thank you, my friend. Those soldiers have no sense of humor, but they're smart enough to fear the beast man. I thought you had the magic to start fires anywhere, Otley. I do, but this wind has the magic to put them out. Zebin insists that Conan has been captured by the Beastmen. He wants us to go look for him. Oh, that's right. Let's everyone go off in a wild goose chase and leave me here, by myself. Exactly. You stay here while we're gone in case he comes back. I've half a mind to wake this manly up and make him work for himself. This manly has size and strength. Perhaps the outside world is a better place than we are told. We will never know. As Azul has deemed us to mine ore for him. It is our fate. left his body on the mountainside? I couldn't bring them both. This creature weighs a ton. No manling has ever killed a Bruthian huntsman.
Take him before a god, Kree. He can work to make up for it. We don't it. take orders from you, O'Brien. It would be my master's wish, not my own. We will take him to the throne room, Gorban. He's much closer than the pet. <laughs> Sword of Atlantis. It's colder than ice. Something must have happened to Conan. He would have never left his sword behind. This is a large one. And he's vicious, Gokri. He murdered Kra. How? With a sword, Master. A great sword. Like the weapons of old. What do they call you, Manling? I'm a man, not a manling. I'm not sure you'll make a very good slave. I'll make no slave at all, you animal. <laughs> you call me an animal. You're the workhorse here, man. So you see, I treat well-behaved humans nicely. She also treats me well. What kind of woman are you? Those of beast like this. You're a prisoner in Bruthium. You'll ask no question. Down on your knees, Manling! Down, Manling! Take him to the pens! You will learn. <laughs> Welcome to the slave pens of Brutheim. My name is Kiord. I am foreman of this sector. Conan of Sumeria. Your hands are still bound. Gorba and Gaul clearly fear you. <laughs> they would fear me more if they knew how close they came to death. <laughs> yes, yes. I heard how well you battled before they captured you up above. Not well enough. <laughs> Let me help you. <laughs> we have a little food left over from feeding time. Do not let hunger weaken you. Feeding time? I'm not a beast of burden. We all are. You'll get used to it. All newcomers resist at first, but beatings, starvation, this is all you can look forward to if you don't do as the Beastmen tell you. Like Kior and I have lived their whole lives in darkness. Those of us who still remember life above ground try hard to forget. You can fight to be free. How? Anywhere you can. With this. This is the only life we've ever known, Conan. Those who come from above, like you, bring us our only other view of the manlings. We are a man. No. No. 
We are manlings. In time, you will be one as well. There is no escape from the slave pens of Brutheim. Only death. I will escape. Why do you disturb me when I'm instructing my new serving girl? Now I'm sure you were, my wizard. But I thought this more important. Important? Important? What could be more important than serving girl? Yes, instructing can be wearing on you. But I thought you should know about Conan while you are still alive. Conan, Conan, what about him? As far as I know, he spends most of his time interrupting my most intimate moments. He is in the land of the Beruthians. I do not give a pig's ear for the Beruthians, as long as they mind all they are beasts. Forgive me, your great one. I only repeat what has been spoken by these creatures, their words having little meaning beyond their own land. Then why tell me? Conan was chased there by your soldiers. He is now a prisoner. It would be an opportunity to destroy him. He has the strength of ten men, but the beast men will wear him down or throw him in the pit and watch him die. I would like to see that too, but we must allow that entertainment for their reward. Mm, you are most generous, O oh Great One, but that will take time. So, meanwhile, we will watch Conan mine some ore. And if he escapes? No one has ever escaped from the mines of Beridia. That is history. We are dealing with the present. You are being very insolent. And if you are not careful, I will put wine in your water and give you the morning pain. Don't kill me. I've already risked my life to come here. I know you hate me for helping the Beastmen trap you. I couldn't help it. I saw no ropes holding you on a mountainside. If I tried to run, Gokri would cut my throat. And then kill ten slaves in my prize hole. Wake up! Don't let them see me, Gokri. Wake up, Dodge! It's time to go to work! Move! Wake up! Wake up! Move! Or I'll whip your naked skin raw! Move! This one's violent. But we'll work it out of him. <sighs> Who's that? She's one of the children. Sick. Can't I'll be the judge of that, Kiorn! Leave her alone. Move, manling. Move! Work! 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 Break you, I will, Madeline. Move this rock from here to here. Then, if I don't like the job you've done, you'll move it again! Get up and do as I say. Get up! Get up! Get up! Thank <laughs> you. 
doesn't know. He doesn't know the rules yet. Back the word! Do as they tell you, Conan. It'll only be better for all of us. Everyone! Back to work. He's healthy, he just tripped. Please, no, please, please, please. Now, back to work. This is food for pigs. Eat it. Otherwise, they don't feed you for days. What is the thing they call gablab? Pray you never find out. The work has made you strong, Kirov. You should use your strength for freedom. been summoned to the throne room, Manling. Make one false move, and at your head will take the Gakri. sent for you, not Gakri. Are you not afraid your master will find us? He's sleeping, soundly. I drugged his wine. I wanted to thank you for saving me today, Manly. My name is Conan. You've been whipped. All slaves are whipped, except you. Come closer. I felt my share of the lash. Now come. Sit beside me. Tell me about the human world. I've heard there are cities even greater than Brutheim. What are the people like who live in these cities? Some are strong, others are weak. They're good and bad. Courageous and cowardly. Are the women beautiful? Some of them. Is there really such a thing as ships that sail huge oceans manned by humans? And do men really ride upon long-legged animals that move like the wind? <laughs> yes. <sighs> we call them horses. <gasps> but now you tell me something. What is the connection between Wu Time and this wizard, Hisazul? 
the ore from our mines. Hisazul must have great interest in this ore. I have never heard of it. It was discovered this. a generation ago. It forges into a metal that's stronger than iron. And the Bruthians make them into great weapons for the wizard's war effort. Let me see these weapons. There are some magical ones in the next chamber and many more below. There. With weapons like these, this Azu will conquer the world. And all of Brutime will move above ground at last. He lies. Next time you try to drug me, make sure I drink the wine. Kill him! Let him go. He cannot survive the tunnels of Rutam again. <laughs> Strip her of her finery and throw her in the pins with the rest of the slaves. <laughs> Goodbye, Manly. I'll see you in hell. See why you want to keep looking for this madling? Got Kree said not to bother. Are you going to sleep nights knowing this creature's on the loose? <laughs> What's that? The manling escaped. They're not that smart.
It's yours now. Use it to fight the beast men. Or if not, turn it on yourself for an honorable death. You would have used this knife on yourself? The thought has crossed my mind more than once. But you did not. You must fight. Men take their freedom, not their lives. If you won't fight, then flee. I cannot leave the others to be fed into the pit. I cannot. Go, Conan. Go, Conan. Go, please. And may Mitra protect you. Go. Go, please. We can escape.
to the surface! Not yet. Wait! You're going the wrong way! What is the meaning of this? We've got to leave Bruthia. The Scythes have gone mad and are striking us all down. There is still enough of us. And they are only ignorant animals! And what about Tisa Zul? What will he do to us next? We don't know. But we have served you faithfully, Gagri. Now... We beg your permission to let us flee for our lives. Run from the manlings! Gagri! Never! No! No! Cowards! Cowards! There is nothing to fear! Good old Zeb, but always ready for a little bit of fun, huh? <laughs> hey, where's Otley? The fool took the sword and went to fight the battle alone? Conan never came back. It's time to meet our doom. It's good that I go to the end with you. It should be this way. The minute my back is turned, they let the fire go out. Otley! You're alive! <laughs> Conan, well met, my friend. Well met. Good to see you, Bolagal. Meet already. Any friend of Conan and Otley's is a friend of Volkar. <laughs> Where will you go already? After I take you through the pass? Why, I thought you would have guessed. To see the cities of men. After the ocean swallowed Atlantis, and before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. The 
destiny was to free the oppressed and become a king by his own hand. Kona. We were still headed south to the center of his Zul's power. Fio had dropped off to meet us later at the Mandan Rocks. Volcar was to travel with us for a few days. He was headed in the same direction and his size and his acts were a welcome sight. His appetite, however, was a danger to our limited food supply. I sent the message. It was false. You had us guide these fishermen through the lands of the Modars for no reason? The trip did not get them killed, and they will now starve with the rest of their village. The starving population will be ours if you don't help us. You tricked me to get me here. I should kill you for this. I will die anyway. Time is not important. There are people who need your help. Are you going to kill them too? If you're all liars, why should I care what happens to you? Because his Azul is responsible for destroying all the fish. How has his Azul destroyed the fish? By creating a monster with one eye. That has eaten them all. True that you have seen this monster. And then, my friend, I'll help you. Have you nothing better to do than scrounge my rubies in conversation with a serving girl? I was awaiting your presence, Master. She passed by, and I summoned her. And is that it? Is that all you have to say? Conversation is all I have left to give. Then talk to me. Has Conan been led to the village of Actel as planned? The fisherman did as you instructed, my lord. And does Actel understand also? That I cannot be sure, but he fears you and will perform. Then you must try to behave more like him. I do, O Great One. I just do not fear for my body. But you still have teeth. We no longer need the fishermen. Dispose of them. Actel. Have you received another message? I have been spoken to. You appear worried. I am not worried, Wicca. I'm in thought. Why do you bother me? I am going to the marketplace to find what food there is. You annoy me with the trivial things of a woman's work. I have more important things to do. I've been instructed to perform a ceremony. And who demands it? The Queen or Hisazul? Do not mention Hisazul in the same statement as the Queen. We lived in peace and health till Hisazul evoked his power. Then where is the Queen when she is needed? I do not know. I do. I only know of the power of Hisazul and the control he now gives to me. I will do his bidding and he will reward me. 
And what ceremony does he now demand? Tambal is leaving us. You'll have to make do without a servant until I can find a suitable replacement. Leaving? To what? To where? His Hazul has ordered it. She goes to a more useful purpose. your village not far just beyond sight does the wizard Actel rule your land Queen Vita does Actel just serves her not how well he's gone huh there's more than a water monster to be dealt with here Looking for the wizard Actel. Who seeks him? We do. And what do you want with him? The fish are gone. Actel may know why. I can tell you that. A monster with one eye has eaten them all. Now dismount and offer me a drink so that I may know you. We still have Grog here. No time for you. Are you certain? Where can I find him? There, where you see the smoke at the top of the hill. Volker, right with me. Zeven Otley, wait here. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Is he as strong as he looks? Stronger, but so am I. What do they call you? I am Aina. You camouflage your strength well. Let us offer you a drink and I'll tell you about it. Does he also boast like you? He does. Silently. But I'm sure you can make him sing. This is a fine garden. Thank you. It feeds us more each day. It belongs to my master, the wizard Octel. Yusuf Octel? He is my protector. He took me in when I was an infant. If you'd like a melon, you'll have to ask him for one. He's coming. He rides like a farmer. I wish to speak to you. I will speak with you presently. Go to the house. Wait for me there. Speak to no one. Go now. I will be along. I have very little time. Tell me. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Conan. They say you rule the waters. Queen Vida is the ruler of the waters. I merely serve her. The people of Marina are starving, and the fish have disappeared. I was told a monster has eaten them. There is a monster. 
but the people of Marana are not my concern. This village also needs the fish. They are not starving, wizard. I am doing all within my power to defeat the monster. And when I succeed, there will be fish for all. Now will you allow me to pass? I hope I can believe you. You have no choice. I always have a choice. What can you see? More than butts and boot tops. I know all the jokes, just tell me. Sorry, little friend, my humor can be coarse. Octel and his soldiers are taking a prisoner to Water's Edge. Zevin wants to know if this is some sort of punishment. I don't know. It's only happened once before. The man was taken by the monster of the water. <laughs> You came just in time. There's going to be an execution. Zevin, you wait for Volga. After you come with me. Let go of me! Your nets have been empty! They shall be empty no more! I have been spoken to! It is the will of Queen Vita that I summon the monster and sacrifice the life of one of her purest servants! But that is Kabal! She has never done any wrong to anyone! Would you rather it be you? No! But it would be fair! Be silent! Or there will be two. Soldiers belong to his Azul. Something is wrong here. It is not your decision to make. I made it my decision. Queen Vita sacrificed you. I don't believe she did it. Nor would she create the monster. Artel said that she did. His Azul has power here. Only he could have ordered it. I do not know of any His Azul. Then you have to lead us to your queen. <laughs> What's wrong? My leg.
Volker, gather the horses. Seven, find a cart. Conan? Yes? Thank you for saving my life. I have just been rewarded. There are things we have to know. I have no secrets. Why has Octel chosen you for sacrifice? I do not know. He said that Queen Vita chose me. That she spoke to him through the Oracle. But I do not believe it. Why not? It could be true. In my life, I have known her to be benevolent and kind. I do not believe that she would create a monster to kill her own fish or me. You have been before this Queen? She has not been seen since I was an infant. Does she have an army? I do not know. Why are you asking me these questions? What are you thinking? You take us to find a queen you have never seen. You do not know if she has an army. Where the queen lives is no secret. If you do not trust me, take me back. You would return to your death. He means no harm. He's only testing you. Come on. Hardly come. I will help you. Come on. Let me help you. I could walk. It's not far away from Peter's stays. Behave yourself. You cannot even stand. You're mocking me. No. You lack like a leg. Not courage. If she's too heavy, I will carry her. How far is it? I do not know. I've never been inside. <gasps> don't scare me. I don't hear anything. Conan! 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 What's happening? This is sorcery. The girl has led us into a trap. I have not. Be quiet, all of you. This is where here is. Who are you? What is your purpose here? If you come in peace, put up your weapons. I'm Conan. We come in peace to speak to Queen Vita. If you come in peace, put down your weapons. What do you want of the Queen? To ask her to return the fish to the sea. To know the reason for the monster. And to know why she orders death by sacrifices. What happened? Where did everyone go? They were phantoms, child. They exist only in your mind. I am Queen Vita. Now what is this? about a monster and executions being ordered? My fish are dead? Is it true? Yes, it is true. If this is your land, why don't you use your powers to save it? A very powerful and evil wizard cast a spell on me. I have entrusted the care of my people to a young wizard named Octel. He did not tell me of these happenings. Why has his Azul entered your domain? You know this for a fact. Actor soldiers wore his emblem.
You are injured? Master Akto is going to sacrifice me to the monster. Conan saved my life. Is Aktel still alive? Yes. Come. She sleeps the sleep that heals. You did well to bring her to me. She led me here. She's very loyal to you. And you? Are you loyal to me? If he's as old as your enemy, then we are friends. He is indeed my enemy. He's trapped me in this cave, destroyed my forces. But at least I'm safe here. But your people are not. Yes. I'm aware of that now. And I understand what I must do. Leaving this haven will cost me my life. You must return me here for my death. Do not ask any questions. You just must trust me and promise that you will watch over Tumbal. I will do my best. You'll need a horse. I have none. You ride with me. Thank you. Otley, stay with Tumble and look after her. Behind that wall, there is a door. The guard will show you. Open it, and you will find a small room that is full of weapons and food. What about Tumble? What do I do if she wakes up? She will sleep until I return. them back? Oh, yes, of course, in time. That is not what concerns me. Octel did not create the monster responsible for doing this. He does not have the power. Then it was his Azul. It has to be him. You fear him. His Azul is stronger than I. I've been trapped in the castle and I have survived, but now, on the outside, I'm weakening. You were able to complete your task? Under the best of circumstances and with your help. But we must hurry. Say something. Say something. What do you think? What do you think of my plan? Is it working, yes or no? Yes and no. The Queen has left her palace with Conan and is on her way to the village. She is vulnerable, but they are aware that you have a presence there. Mm. Then lead them to the water and let the beast destroy them both. What I first contemplated. May I now compliment you on your plan? You should be pleased with the fact of your destroying two enemies with one thrust. Of course. Absolutely. Shall I inform Actel? Yes. Tell him I will send reinforcements. Split my forces. Half to the village with Captain Tigar. The rest will ride with General Li Po to Vita's palace. Have him secure it. Yes, Master. And may I say, more brilliance from a superior mind. And that is how you lost your head. It's my head I still have. It's the rest of me that is missing. <laughs> Wake 
Where's my ambergris? You're wearing it. What is the matter with you? Why did you try to kill Tambal? She was a sacrifice. I was there at the rock. I heard what you said. I saw what you did. And then you blamed the queen. You are a liar, my beloved husband. It was his Azul. Ah, tell. What have you done? I do what I have for my charges. You do it for yourself. Your greed will be the end of you. Not while I have the power of Hisazul behind me. If he is so all-powerful, why does he need a fool like you? Where is everybody? I don't know. Are you well? This... this trip is taking a great deal out of me. Oh. You know you don't have to do this. I know that. You're still a beautiful woman. And you, Conan, are a very gallant man. We can rest if you wish. No, there's no time. We must find out tell at once. You've already found him. He's a fool to face me alone. And you shall learn the true meaning of pain. Stay back! I warn you! Do not come any further! This Azul was right. Your time has passed. I trusted you, Octel. I made you my wizard. I warn you, stay back! What has his Azul promised you? My throne? You're a fool to believe him. It is over. You are over. No! Creature from the deep! I summon you! Stop him, Conan. I'm losing the power of the staff.
well done. Are you badly injured? I'm all right. Good. Because I'm not. We haven't much time left. We must return quickly. If I die before we get to the palace, my daughter will sleep forever. Tamble is your daughter? My only child. And our only hope. Why was she not in the palace with you? I wanted her safe from his Sazul and his spell. I thought that she would be safe under the protection of Octel. I wanted her free. Uh... There's always a price to pay for freedom. Was a queen. Her heart beats. Come, I need your help. Need help? I didn't need your help. Of course not. What about this one? You may need my help. I have very little time left. Thank you, Conan. Don't understand. You will. Do as I tell you. 
Take my ring and put it on. Take my staff. This ring and all that is mine it is yours now. Remember me if you can. You are my daughter, Tambal. My daughter and my heir. I will remember you now. <laughs> you will always be with me. <laughs> you will live through me. Where's Otley? Azul that Queen Vita is dead, and the Sumerian will soon be too. Make sure you tell him that it was I who killed him. Hold! How dare you! Devon, hold my sword. You don't have to do that. Oddly. Miss me? <clears throat> How are you doing? Fine? Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks. Oddly's back. Now, let me see what I can do about this. Thank you. Thank you. Come. You still have the people of two villages to feed. The fish are back. Yes, they are. You should be pleased. I am. I do not like magic. Would you rather your nets be empty? No. Nor would I. Magic can be a good thing in the right hands. I still do not like it. You do not have to. Now I must go. And you? I am guided by Krom. Will I see you again, Conan? Perhaps one day. I have my mother's staff now. If you do not return, I'll send a bolt to bring you here. Oh, that's not fair for you to use magic on me. You're right. It would not feel good while doing it. But I would apologize and promise never to do it again. After all, I still am a woman. No. Now you are a queen. And you, my loyal friend? Are truly a king. Goodbye. For now. This 
is impossible. I had the perfect plan. Actel, the monster, the fish, the daughter, all in place. I had Vita just where I wanted her. And now, where is the barbarian? Feeding the people of Morena. Feeding them with what? Fish. Fish? Don't tell me. I thought I had. It was the girl's first official act as the new queen. Is there no good news? You have your health, master, and your body. After the ocean swallowed Atlantis, and before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. Destiny was to free the oppressed and become a king by his own hand. Kona. First thing I noticed was that our food supply went up. Volkar was gone. Our friend returned to his homeland for a great feast and decided to settle there. With some of the new sites, I'll get over Volkar's loss quickly. I'm sure. I must ask you to leave. I'm Conan the Cimmerian, and I'm on my way to Nivida. We have heard about you. There are always soldiers close behind you. You can eat for a price, but you cannot stay longer. I don't want to put you in danger. If there are soldiers behind you, you endanger me. How can I? <laughs> I not even know you. I'm traveling in the opposite direction. The last thing I need is to be taken by soldiers. Are you a thief? No more than you, Barbarian. Do you have a name? I am Bayou Vexucato. I know yours. We pass each other or not? It's your choice. I would rather hear music than your death rattle. So would I. Don't let that way, I know in a 
escape route. It'll be safe for you. On the road to Al Sambar. Many men have died there. I would not like to be one of them. <laughs> there it is, Al Sambar. I know. I left it yesterday. It is strange that we were not followed. You're not grateful for that? You want to go back and fight some more? Al Sonba. Al Sonba. Conan. Al Sonba. He is approaching it, and your soldiers have chased him there. Yes, there is something familiar about that name, al son The name is also familiar to me, sire. Familiar enough to make the flesh crawl, so to speak. And it suddenly clicked. Cone is there. We could send in more soldiers, Master. No. Let my evil do it. You are a wondrous devil. You're trying to flatter me. When have you ever known me to lie, Master? I will send my generals to surround the village. This is a trap. Maybe you're too suspicious. I'm still alive. What was that? Everything is where it should be. Why doesn't she speak? Does she have the mind of a child? Does he? 
No, she is too scared to speak. Silent and beautiful? I think I've just met my next wife. What will happen to her? She is not from this village or any other that we know of, Conan. There's no family or friends to take care of her. Because of that, the villagers feel that she is an evil omen. She's too beautiful to be abandoned. Or an omen. Maybe she'll become one of Lysandra's girls. They don't need to talk. We have to go. Conan. An evil omen. Uh. Conan. Conan, the monster fled from you. All the more fuel for your legend. You put my friends in danger to save yourselves. I hope I never see this place again. What now? What covered it? I understand, but how did you? I don't know, but it did. surrounded. I'm aligned with you whether I like it or not. The choice is also ours. It didn't make you barbarian, for time is running out. Hmm, my master is impatient. Impatient? Impatient? Of course I'm impatient. This is the third time you've summoned me today, and I know how you dislike parting with your rubies. Who cares about a few rubies when you have a huge sword dangling over your head? I would have thought you'd be used to it by now. I want Conan dead. My generals tell me that Al-Sombar is totally surrounded and defended only by Conan and a few farmers. This is the time to attack. You would lose many men, sire. Yeah, who cares about that? Perhaps if you wait, Conan will be killed by the monster without a drop of your soldier's blood having been shed. Yeah. And who cares about a few lives? A little blood. What do we do now? They've been there for several hours. I say we find the weakest spot in their line and go right through. They are reason they do not attack. They know something we don't. We can't fight them and there's nowhere to run. Conan! Those are the soldiers you were fighting before, aren't they? Now you'd like us to leave, wouldn't you, little man? Oh, your fight with his Azul isn't exactly our fight. I had no fight with his Azul till now. Even if I surrendered to the soldiers, they would still kill me and plunder the village. Why? Because they can. You have a family? Yes. Then go back to them. a good meal. Food is strength.
This god of yours, Krom. Do you think he'll be of much help to me? Only if he chooses to. But Krom expects you to help yourself. Don't you have any god? I carry it in my scabbard. So do I. And what of those who can't help themselves? Then it is my destiny to help them. Or Krom will have to find some new worshippers. <laughs> <laughs> you find humor in your danger. <laughs> So much for needing our strength. You saved me twice now, and yet I ask more. Ask? Who am I? You don't know? All I remember is arriving here at the village. The midwife told me you and your friend saved me from some sort of a beast. That's when we first saw you. And not before? You didn't see where I was coming from, or if I was traveling with anyone? No. My clothes, were they peasants' rags, or perhaps a noble's gown? I saw no clothes. None? You were beautiful. But, uh, naked? I only saw your face. You're lying. Perhaps. So you weren't trying to escape. You simply wanted to talk to me. Yes. Well. It's not as if that I don't have some time to waste. What do you want, Farmer? It's not what I want, sire. It's what you want. Ah, refreshing. Someone who cares about my needs for a change. Continue. You're here for Conan, is that not true? It is true. And what else? I don't understand. Our village. Do, do you have designs on it? No. Only Conan. But hear me well. When the order comes, if I have to, I will level the place to get at that barbarian. If I have to. Oh, you won't have to. That would suit me. It would suit me too, and my family. But uh, tell me something, sire, if it pleases you. Why have you not attacked already? Orders. Or perhaps I was waiting for a bright person like yourself to step forward. Yes, General, I understand. Yo, farmer. We have no designs on your village. You can trust us. We're his Azu's army. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> I was saving this for the harvest festival, but might as well drink it now. Might as well. Drunk or sober, dead is dead. Oh, I suppose it could take its toll. One drink. A toast to our passing. Maybe it's got your can to remember. I remember too much. Battles, wars, life, death. All of that. What about the happy times? There were happy times. But surely you have memories of a more tender nature? Some. I wish I did. Now it appears I never will. You should have a name. There's a word. Rasheen. It means blue sky. That's your name. Rasheen. Rasheen. It suits you. You suit me, Conan. It is not death, I fear, only where I will end up. I know, I will not be alone. We will talk when we get there. Out of the way, Oaf. He's not going anywhere without me. <clears throat> it appears the battle will be getting early today, and not with the enemy we expected. A battle's a battle. Not now, Artley. 
Now! It's simple, Conan. You surrender to the soldiers, or your friends die. Well, what's your decision, Conan? I could kill a dozen of you before I die. Yes, but what about those two? They are going to die anyway. Now let them go or pay the price. Wait! It is truly a pity that you have chosen this time to end your life. Now that you have the force you need to free yourself from both the monster and his Azul's army. What do you mean? How can you stop either one? How can you? That army could lay waste to this entire village after lunch and still not miss dinner. Haven't you wondered why they haven't attacked? Could it be that somewhere in this village, there's a spy! Shh! A spy. It's not odd for an army to place a spy in a village they're about to raid. Ask him. I'm not. I'm no friend of those soldiers. If there's a way to keep this village safe, I'll listen to it. If not, then I will do what I must. Make your choice now. Well, we'll take him and let those two go. No. No conditions. Maybe you want this village to fall for some reason. I'll do what you wish. I hope your gods and your will are stronger than mine. So do I. What do we do now? Now, we get to the truth. not much of a plan. There is no other. We have to find out why they have not yet attacked us. They're afraid of something here in the village. I don't think it is us. Good point. What if the sentries don't know anything? They know. Soldiers always do. We don't. We ready then. I want to help. It is too dangerous. I'm already risking my life just being in this village. If you leave, they'll kill me. And if you fail, we'll all die anyway.
Not yet. Let them become more careless. That's fine with me. Conan, I don't like this. I know you're fond of her, but that does not mean she can be trusted. I like it too. All I can give is trust. Save one of the enemy? There's a common enemy. It has to be killed. Retreating. I shall execute every captain, every lieutenant, every sergeant, even. And as for that general man, I know a stinking antique where he can spend a nice long time. I recognize your rage, O oh wise one, but tell me the reason. Have you no ears? Literally speaking, no, but. Then do not mock me, Skull. I'm not in the mood. My army has abandoned Conan. Perhaps, but Conan must still survive the monster. Then let us pray that you are right. Pray? That's a new word for you, master. The trick of the tongue. But you still better get it right. Ooh. Well, if there's one thing a farmer can provide, it's food. May you have a smooth and peaceful journey. You're leaving? We have to go before the soldiers regroup. I can remember now. Almost everything. Your friends? Your family? Can you go back to them? I don't have a family. Then, where would you go? To make my own family. Rashin, I shouldn't call you that anymore. No, I'm keeping the name. You gave it to me. And now, you can give me something else. There's no time right now. 
We have to leave. There's plenty of time. The soldiers don't know the beast is dead yet, and if they decide to check, they'll send a scout or two. Not an entire army. You needn't worry about us. We'll find something to do. It's hard to believe that someone of your size was once a babe in arms. I was not a child for long. No. Nor will I be. I've waited so long for this. Two days. Much can happen in two days. The lowly caterpillar becomes a butterfly in mere hours. Now, come to me. Rasheen, I can't be here to raise a family. My children will only need their father for a single night. My race is a self-sufficient one. We expect to take care of ourselves. And it starts at a young age. My Conan, come to me. That creature couldn't have killed those soldiers. It was dead before they were. I'm sure of it. Like Conan said, maybe it was another one of those accursed creatures. And how did R R Rasheen avoid it? My what? Be calm, my Conan. There's nothing to fear. It's a normal transition for my race. Two days as the Christmas rushing. And now this. That monster! You never were in danger! It was my mother. The seed of our race is the blood of men. Accept it, Conan. Our goal is the same as yours to populate the world with our offspring, the offspring of strong warrior fathers like you, whose memory I will always cherish. Leila! I die first! Come to me, Conan. Come to me. Give yourself to me. Conan! I figured out the... My sword! No! You mustn't. <laughs> I really do love you. I still don't believe Rasheen turned into that... thing. An egg becomes a chicken. A nymph becomes an old crone.
Will you travel with us? For a while. Till I get where I'm going. In any event, I'm sorry, Conan. Truly. I'm sorry. For what? The girl. You had feelings for her. Must be painful. She was so beautiful. Yeah. For two days. For many, two days of beauty could be a whole lifetime. Yes, if you intend to live for only four days. He doesn't live life enough to really feel it. What could you offer a woman? What could you? I have brains. I have strength. I have guile. What is guile? My point exactly. If you have insulted me again, I will still watch you like a gnat. If I called you a buffoon, that's an insult. If I called you an idiot, that's an insult. You should calm down. Perhaps you're correct. I'm sorry. Accepted. You do know what accepted means, don't you? Seven, you should translate. You should admire what he does so well. So I'm, I'm to be thankful for the insult heaps upon me. I should accept them like the, like the good pain of a man who likes the feeling of a stomach cramp? Is no one on my side? Crom! Pray to Crom. He once saved a horse of mine. the ocean swallowed Atlantis, and before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. His destiny was to free the oppressed and become a king by his own hand. Kona. Sign of the Red Snake. The Agita. Buyers, thieves, killers. A pleasant breed. And cannibals. I've heard they're cannibals. A cannibal with half an appetite is more than enough for me. What you're saying reeks of philosophy. He's right, though. You should give the bones a good handling. Take a look at them. And why would I want to take on such a pleasant task? Checking for tooth marks. <clears throat> Conan! Why don't we take a very long, long way around this forest?
said they could use a little wine and food. How about you, Conan? More than a little. <laughs> <laughs> Conan, my friend. Conan, my friend. Savannah and I have shared many fights together. Huh? And a great deal of grog. <laughs> what was her name? The little gold-haired woman in the shape of goddess. My memories are clouded with all the women of your past. <laughs> <laughs> you mean all the wenches trying to escape your grasp? You are drunk and confused, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> to all the wenches, you never caught. <laughs> and all the ones you lie about. <laughs> <laughs> Which are many. <laughs> Of all the women that I've loved, <laughs> only Simone. Well, what you're looking for? Well, where's all your baggage? <laughs> I don't carry any baggage. <laughs> well, why then all these uh, baggage carries? <laughs> <laughs> Are you calling me a baggage carrier? <laughs> it was just a joke, my thick-headed friend. Save the fight for the Agita. <laughs> to your good health. Conan, where are you traveling to? To the Agita and beyond. We are looking for the wizard, Hizazu. Well, oh, the wizard of the wizards. By Chrome, when you hunt, you only chase the biggest game. With Hizazu, either we hunt, or we are hunted. <laughs> what does the quiet one say? He asks if you not fear to be in our company. From the looks of you four, I say Hizazu soon has to find another world. To do his magic in. <laughs> what brings you to this pleasant countryside? Blood. Come tomorrow morning, I will cross a Gita country. Go to war against the Blue Stone cult. What have they done to deserve your anger? For the last six months, I lived in the village on the Taiko River. A woman lived there, kind and beautiful. We found love together. <laughs> One day, I went out hunting, and the blue stone came. And they killed all the men, children, old people, young people. They took the women, young, strong ones. And they took mine. And you go to fight them alone? I'm not alone. I'm carrying the hatred of hundreds of my dead friends in my heart. A short time ago. My woman was taken by his azul. I'll get her back, or I'll leave a trail of blood across Bluestone country that one will be able to follow for a hundred years. Now, a toast to my friend Conan. And my newfound friends. <laughs> I've been thinking about Savan and came to a decision. We all traveled well together. But. I have to be with him. If that means we go around and avoid the Agita and not get killed, I vote we go. I will meet you all in three weeks at the Kina outpost. Who makes this decision for us that we cannot go? Last night you wanted to kill this man. I am not fond of him, no. He's vain and arrogant, and I do not like vain and arrogant men. <laughs> and he's not the best judge of character, I mean. Do I look like a baggage carrier? If you go to meet trouble, we go with you. So be it. Well, that's all fine, Conan, but in the future, can we meet up with the kind of trouble that comes with finery? Look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. The littlest men do have the biggest dreams. And the best men. Your sword. 
nice piece of workmanship. It does the job. Not more than that? It is a blessing from Croft. It is a tool and a friend. The sword of Atlantis. I'd say it's quite a prize. You know about it? Yes, it's a blade that could certainly make a good warrior. No sword can win for you. Yeah, but a blade can give an edge to men who are equal. No blade can win for you. <laughs> You're wrong about that. When it comes to the sword, I'm not wrong. About this, you and your wits need some sharpening. My wits and my sword are both sharp. You know what? You're wrong again. Let's just take the fight we had yesterday, for instance. If you wouldn't have had your sword, I don't think you would have been able to hold out my attack any longer. You must have left your memory back at the camp. And your skills with words is clearly as forgettable as your skills with the sword. Maybe I should work my skill into your flesh, my friend. Maybe you should. Before we discuss this any further, we have visitors. We would like all your weapons and jewelry. And anything else you have hidden. And if you have grog, we'll take that too. We're drinking people, you see. And what do we get for all of that? I know what you'll get if you don't. And it all over. <laughs> Take what you can. Still on our weapons. Mercy, mercy. Same mercy you have given to us. No, no, no. Crawl well, old shaman. Or you might not live to crawl at all. Do you understand? <laughs> Enough, Saban. Get off your belly, old man. As great one, we will give you food and drink and treat you like true king. Well, I, for one, wouldn't mind being treated like a king. Why do you think they gave up so easily? Ah, the cowards. Or liars. To be watched. Ah. For a man who has just lost someone he loves, he does not seem so heartbroken. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> it 
It is an honor to be served by so many beautiful women. Hey, I sense you have a good mind. Maybe you could answer a question. You think reading the giant I killed or the one Conan killed? <laughs> I'll propose a toast, and when they drink, the snake will fall to their lips, and... <laughs> Conan, don't you think it's kind of odd, that old toothless warlock slipping into the hut to get us something to drink? I think the old man smiles too easily. They are too willing to bow to us. No many ways we still can kill them. Or they us. Mugs of grog. Yes, five. And one for each of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Conan. My friends. <sighs> I'm so hungry. Absolutely. And meat as well. <laughs> I've missed you. you. Missed me? We never met. Oh, that's not what you said last month. <laughs> I told you we never met. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe I was mistaken. You are mistaken, pretty one. But I wish it was me. <laughs> <laughs> to the old days. To the old days, Connor. Watch out for snakes. <laughs> Zaban. <laughs> oh. Well, I expect good news. Zaban has worked his will upon Conan, sire. You are certain. Yes. Summon the High Priestess. Your guests are due to arrive as scheduled. I am prepared for them as you wish. Don't fail me. 
I never have before. I am hopeful that all this will fall in your favor. You hopeful? I've never heard you use a word like that before. I use the word only in a metaphoric sense, Master. Since I am, of course, beyond hope. There is something in your manner I'm not sure I like. Since I am without a body, so I must be without a manner. It's too bad that you could not have avoided death as well as you avoided certain of my question. I am certain of one thing. Savan will lead Conan into the trap you have set. First the sword, then the man. Come tomorrow, I will feast. Prepared. Can you bring them? I've brought them this far, haven't I? Don't fail me in this. We wouldn't. Don't worry. <clears throat> Don't walk away. Is there trouble? Where's Sevan? That may be the trouble. If you fail, if you do, all I will talk about is how gruesome your death was. Do you understand? Yes. Now go. It seems you have made up your mind. Speak up. We don't know. But why is he having secret meetings with the men we're gonna go fight? I will ask him. You don't need to ask. I will tell you everything. And now, I'm defenseless. I was approached tonight by two men from the Bluestone Cult. These two have deserted their Brotherhood and are now hunted. Word has arrived in the Brotherhood that I was coming. And these two were willing and able to sell me some information on my woman for gold. Why didn't you tell us this before? Do I know if it's a trap? So I went alone and paid them and told them if they fail me, I will kill them. What about the servant girl? She's a fool and mistaken. Why don't you get her up here and ask her yourself? So am I. I'm a fool, and I'm mistaken for thinking that I have friends. What do you think of me? What? No answer? What kind of man are you? You can talk behind my back, but what about into my face? We don't trust you. That's an answer. Not a good one, but at least it's an answer. It's an honest one. Honest? Have I ever done anything to you? To any of you? Yet you don't think I'm honest. What about you, my friend Conan? Do you think I'm dishonest in some way? Whatever you say will be the truth for me. I shouldn't have to say anything. I journeyed with you. I fought with you. I bled with you. Was I ever dishonest then? Was there ever anything evil in my heart? No. Never. That's an honest answer. I'm going to go alone. My woman is in prison about a day's ride from here in some castle. Remember, Conan, I didn't ask you to come with me. Savan. You heard it. What do you have to say now? I think you know how we feel. Even after what he has said? Even after what he has said. My Sumerian blood says to help my friend. I too will help any man who is my friend. 
Is this man our friend? He has not proved otherwise. Let's hope he doesn't prove it too late for us. Back at the Agita, at the celebration with the young women, he did not seem like a man who was brokenhearted. Each man grieves his own way. Conan! What if Savan and the Blue Stone have formed an alliance? Made plans to kill you? What if they're with Hisazul? That may be. But I have to go help him and find out the truth. Where are you going? I should have been born a coward. Did you come here to put me to the sword, or to offer me your sword? Forget the swords. We're here to help you. Then come over the bridge with me. Bayo, Otley, Zevin, you go first, then I go. I'm gonna go first. I wanna prove myself. Gonna be next. Me? I'm next. Slowly. I'll go slow. I'll go slow. What do you weigh? No more mutton for you, by you.
traitor! <laughs> Conan! My friend! I will take your sword. Come on. Throw it to me. Never! <laughs> no! Don't do it! Throw your sword! Or your friend will die. Come on! catching mice it's not finished yet that's right my thick-headed friend you're just the bait Conan will come for you to save your life and I will send his head back to Isazul and I and the high priestess will be very well rewarded before you send his head to anyone you're gonna have to deal with the rest of them first cage them I don't want to hear their voices again <laughs> My priestess. Mm. What kind of chance does Conan have against all of them? He doesn't even have his weapon. We've got to figure out a way to help him. We have to find a way to help ourselves. Well, I'm right. The only thing we can do for him from here is scream! Talking too fast. Yes, how the blue faces cow to her. Yes, if we could get a hold of her, then those warriors might not be so willing to fight if we had a knife up to the saintly high priestess's throat. <laughs> yeah. Well. Now that we have that settled, 
There's only one thing left for us to figure out. Our original problem. How do we get out of here? Afraid of a little snake? It is not little to me. Look out that window. If we don't get out of here, we're dead anyway. And you're afraid of a snake bite. I'm really starting to not like you. You're not so brave now, are you? Where's the gold, little man? It's inside a pouch, inside of his shirt. Shh. Let's see it. I'm gonna kill you for this, I swear it! Kill me now! There it is. How smart, little man. He doesn't call me little man. How do you know the gold is still inside the pouch? If there is not gold here, you will be breathing through a nice new slash across your throat. A snake! Ah! <laughs> Glad to see you didn't waste any time getting to your own funeral. It's not my funeral I've come for. I wonder whose, then. I don't suppose you believe you've come for mine. Come down like a great warrior and find out. A great warrior, my friend, is a smart one. Throat. 
She's not my high priestess. I told you, it is not the sword. Now I'll prove it. My sword has not served you well, has it, Saban? Do you think the Bluestone people will remain under control? I cannot be sure. Why do we leave them intact? Do you want me to slay them all? It'd be safer. I will destroy only his Azul. I am a messenger of Trump, not an assassin. Mm, but you kill. I kill to defend myself. By you, you do not treat people fairly. What would you like me to do, become a midwife? Maybe. If I didn't have to listen to your shrieking little voice, I too would be happy. Well, if my silence would stop your misery from spreading, I will behave like Zebin. You cannot stop those jaws from flapping any more than a bird could stop its wings. I have seen birds glide for many minutes. Which is longer than you could suppress your babble. Your mouth should be in proportion to your body. And if your body were in proportion to your brain, you could ride a swamp rat. Then how could I stop people from stomping you into an ugly rug? As usual, you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I would make a beautiful rug. <laughs> you protect him with your laughter. He's like an annoying rodent. But he gets us through moments of silence. You, Zevin, say more with your silence than all of us. I value it and appreciate it greatly. Which means you should shut up. Okay, I will. I will behave like Zevin. Zebin welcomes you to the fraternity of the silent. <coughs> I didn't mean it. I'll talk, I'll talk. You should have at least kissed him back. <laughs> Don't help him. You're supposed to be on my side. After the ocean swallowed Atlantis, and before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. Destiny was to free the oppressed and become a king by his own hand. Kona.
Oddly, give me your dagger. My horse has a stone in his foot. Take your time. It's late. We can camp here tonight. If it rains, the water will rise. We cross first. Put this between your toes and let's see how far you can walk. It is a ruby. It's mine. It's not yours. I found it. Give it to me. It does not belong to you. What? Your horse found it. It belongs to him. And he gave it to me. And you gave it to me. Be quiet. Oddly, give me the stone. Conan! C Conan! Conan! Now, it belongs to the river. See, you did not miss all the rocks. Most of them. And Otley? I could not find him. The river took him. It is not what he could take. Otley is not lost. <laughs> Come on. Cho. Let's find him. Otley lives, but he's not alone. Ooh. Hmm, you could be right. What manner of man is this? That man. Soldiers. How many? 
Which way did they go? Bayo, come. Zebma has found the trail. speak before he dies. Crumb smiles upon you. Tell me the truth, and I will spare your life. Zevin, water. There was a little man in the village. Yes. Does he live? Why did you attack? Orders. Whose orders? Tell us. General Lore. <laughs> Who does he serve? Uh, he's Azul. go nowhere. It is magic? No, they... They back track! Drink, Conan. You know my name? Mordan has come. He knows all. Drink. It is bitter. It is called chai. It is good for you. Conan! What is this place? Where are we? We are with the people. 
Who are you? I am one of the people. I am called Reyna. Leave us. Take them to the fire of Mordon. You may put me down. This cannot be. Be quiet and learn. Oddly, uh... Silence! I am Mordan, god of the river and the forest. And these are my people. <laughs> Mordan? What manner of jest is this? Keep your tongue. You are Conan. I am. You come in peace? I do. You are the enemy of our enemy. We are. They speak the truth. They are friends. Put down your weapons. We will have a feast in your honor. Elden, release them and see that Reyna feeds them. And Elden, the hairy one, make sure he bathes. Oh! Adler! They are a peaceful tribe. They had no enemies until his Azul sent the soldiers to find the rubies. He used them to summon certain evil spirits. Where do the rubies come from? I do not know. The children find them. They have no value to the people. The children are in luck. His Azul would have killed them as well. Like a chick knot. But look at really it. funny. Huh? Yeah. You like magic, Dion? Where's magic? Give me a redstone and I'll show you. Magic. Will you teach me magic? If I had more stones, I might. Do you know where to find the stones, Dion? Some. I may need many. Mordon says I cannot tell you. I, I'll speak to Mordon. He'll agree. Then you can show me where they are. And then you will teach me magic? Then I will teach you all I know. All right? Yeah. All right. 
You will stay for the feast? Yes. And then we will go. What will you do? They are kind and simple people. I believe this. I can lead them. They would live in peace. You are not their god. You are Otley. Shh. They do not know this. No, they do not. But you do. in the village. The elders want me to marry my second cousin, but he's ugly and he talks too much. That's why I think so much of you. <laughs> what has become of my rubies? Answer me, fool. I must have them back at once, or you will sleep for the rest of eternity. Yes, master. General Nor has not yet found the source. Source, source, what source? Is the man completely incompetent? An impediment, master. An impediment? An impediment? What do you mean, an impediment? Conan, master. Conan? You refer to Conan as an impediment. You must have taken leave of your senses. He is an obstacle, a major obstacle. Yes, master, an obstacle. What else should I call him that would please you? Yeah, many things, but never mind, forget it. Where is he now? With the forest people, master. Yes, and where are they? They are in the forest. Ah, oh, brilliant. You take me for a fool? Where in the forest? I cannot tell. They are well hidden. Yeah. You are no use to me. You are not worth the ruby it takes to summon you up. I am sorry, Master. But I cannot appear for less. to the forest. Find Conan, and when you found him, report to General Nor of your success. Spoken to Mordon, it is all right. Take me through the stones. How far is it? Not far. There's a hole by the river. A hole? Yes, a very small one. It isn't a tree. And there are many stones. Very many. Ah, good. Let's go.
did you come from? Guess what? Luki, you have something for me? Yes. We are here. The village is there. Collect as many stones as you can find and leave no one alive. We ride! <laughs> Soldiers coming. Go, out and we're done. I have to leave soon. Why do you have to go? You can have peace here. I have a quest. I have to free my people. Will you ever return? Maybe. Someday. After I've destroyed his Azul. Conan, there are soldiers coming. Where? In the forest. They'll be here soon. How many? Many. Seven. Find Bayoun. Bring the horses. Where is Bayou? He has gone, Mordant. He has taken the boy Dian with him. He's looking for the rubies. He's a fool. No. He just thinks differently. Which way did they go? That way, Mordan. Hartley, you have to choose now. I will ride with you. Good. Eldon, take the idol and hide in the forest. We will bring Dion back to you. Let me go with you. Dion is my brother's son. We'll bring the boy back. I promise you. Go, now hurry, hurry! Bayou? What, Dion? Why do you want the red stones? They are valuable to me. They have great power in my world. What power? Wealth. They'll give me an easy life. You already have an easy life right here. Ah, but not wealth. What is wealth? It is power. They are the same? They are. And that is why the soldiers kill? That is why most men kill. I do not like your world. The hole is there. Where? There, under the corundum tree. Show me. I hear only the river. Listen. They are horses. Run, Dion. Go by you. Go! Get the boy! Run, Dion! One of the Luki was right. 
You show me the source of the rubies, and you may live. I know of no rubies. The rubies which are found in a hole by the river. I know of no hole. Again. <laughs> Where is it? Again. <clears throat> Do they mean that much to you? No more than they mean to you. Make a fire! We will see, my friend. We will see. My friend, I will ask you again, where is the hole where the rubies can be found? This is hot, my friend. Would you like some? I told you I would kill you slowly, and I will. 
Bring the horse. He will like this. Chain him. Yes. Forward. my prayer. I'm sorry, Mordan. We followed you. Are you angry? No, Eldon. I'm not angry. I'm grateful. The other soldiers, did they follow you? They could not. Mordan, you're bleeding. Dion. <laughs> it is nothing. How can this be? You are a god. There's something I must tell you, Eldon. Although I may look like your god, I'm not. My name is not Mordon. It is Otley, and I am a man. You are a man? Like you. Now I'm sorry, but I must go. You deny us our god? Now you deny us a friend. You will always have my friendship. Where are you going? With Conan. And my friends. The people will miss you. God or not God. 
You have brought us unity. The unity was already there. And I will miss my people. Why should I let this vermin continue to exist? Let him return as a defeated man. Why should I let him return? He must return with a bag of rubies so that Hisazul will not send his soldiers here. The forest people need a chance to live in peace. Come by you. Hisazul will punish him for failing to kill me. If you live, I will find you. <laughs> He has learned nothing. He's by you. He's our friend. Give him time. Bring me his head as well. No, his Azu, only the rubies. Why no head? He was there. Luke, he saw him. Yes, he is a great warrior, but my man, they, they're no match for him. Ah. What do you mean? They are dead, his Azu. Conan killed him. I see. But you live. My life was spared. Then tell me what kindness Conan saw in you. I do not know. And nor do I. Congratulations, Master. I am still with you. At a price. Where is he? He is buying provisions for his army. Yes. With my ruby. No, Master. His servant by you has his own. Well, he should be mine. How did he get them? The same way you did, Master. He stole them. Man has no principle. No principles, my friend. Like me, he has an appetite for rubies, master. For I have done. They will all look like you. Hmm. There's food back at camp. I know. I was almost rich. You bought weapons for our rebels. I know what I did. You did the right thing and you know it. I don't mind being wrong within a while, or at least half wrong and kept half the rubies. I'm a fair man. I could have been a little fair and a lot rich. You would not have been happy with that decision. Your conscience would not permit it. So I feel a little guilty and been rich? That might not be so bad. I can handle a little dose of guilt. 
I agree. That I should have kept the rubies? No, that you're a half guilty man. <laughs> Even in my gravest moments, you managed to deflate me. Only your ego. <laughs> Otley, you have the courage of a charging bull. And you have the breath of one. And one day I might just kill you. No, my friend. You will only save my life yet again. I'll have to think about that. Do it while you eat. And try not to dribble on yourself. I don't want to have to have you washed again. <laughs> After the ocean swallowed Atlantis, and before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. Destiny was to free the oppressed and become a king by his own hand. Kona. We know there are six thieves on our horses. Thanks to the sleeping guard. No, wood nymph, it was you, Zevin. It was Dandelion Wine that did its magic. Your wood nymph was a thief named Corella. Corella! So that's why you've been so volcanic. It's not just stolen horses, but who stole them? And now she's on her way to Arjun. The city of thieves. Are those are horses? If not, it's not our fight. Those are our horses. Something wrong with this wind. There must be a rich prize in that cart. I'll be waiting for you. All that, and we still have to use our feet. Let's see what they are killing for. Beware, mortals. You look upon temple virgins. We are consecrated to the goddess, Zanata. Zanata? The despiser of men. And she has chosen you to be our champion. Oh. Well, there must be some mistake. 
See, we're just passing by. The goddess Sonata makes no mistakes. Magic. I hate magic. How will you escort us to Arangen without animals to pull the cart? The city of thieves? Arangen is no place for you. But we've been sent by our goddess to retrieve the talisman sacred to her. It's called Eye of Tasia. I'm not interested in magical objects. But you're going to Arangen anyway to retrieve your horses, the ones stolen while you were asleep. And there's not for us to fear, with strong men like you to protect us. And helping us would please the goddess ever so much. Your goddess is not mine. The horses are. There would be a reward, of course, in addition to keeping it from His Azul. A reward? His Azul? His Azul wants its power. The goddess wants it for safety. My duty is to destroy His Azul's power. We will have to walk. We never walk. I move the Black Legion to the north, I can block off all escape routes from the mountain. Yes, Master, but Conan does not seek escape. He seeks your death. But he is only one man. There are four altogether, and now he has added three great beauties to his group. He has three women with him. Virgins from Xantia. Then why was he rewarded and I was not? I'm not sure if it was in fact a reward. Fate is often unfair. I know. If you must speak, tell me more about Conan. I don't know anymore. He is guiding to the west. So. That's it? That is all you can tell me? It is, O oh wondrous one. That is Arangen, city of thieves. Oh, it could do with a good washing. The ruler lives in that fortress. He is very evil. Indeed, he is, my lady. His name is Badad. How do you know of him? Are you frightened by sorcerers, Atli? <laughs> Conan does not like them, but I am Otley, the dragon too. Let us make haste. Yeah, yeah. Take care, Tidbit. Oh, look at his lovely muscles. Once we arrive, I shall soothe them with balm. Thank you. Don't expect we'll walk to the fortress through this filth. Do you want to go to the fortress? You walk. <sighs> we must. It is Badad who possesses the Eye of Tasia, the talisman. Badad stole it from His Azul. Who stole it from our goddess. This is the way. horses is anywhere, it will be in this place. You! A table at once! A clean one, please. Over there. <laughs> you should not be seen. Uh, oh, I like to be seen. The goddess will protect us, and you too. If you do not anger her. Maybe she knows how we can get into his fortress. Only thieves would know such things. We are not thieves. The goddess, she knows your heart and your destiny. My destiny is to rid the world of his Azul. Your destiny is to bring us the Eye of Tasia. Your goddess has picked the wrong man. 
I know a way into the fortress. You do? Shh. When I was a slave, I came to this fortress often. In the street of the gallows, there is an ancient well with a tunnel that leads beneath the fortress walls. If you go into that tunnel... We bring a nice drink here for the ladies. You little men, get out of here. No, little man. You get out. You. Get out of here. I'll follow. Too big to hide you under my bed. <laughs> Another time. Oh, any time, darling. Oh, something bit me. Ah, there are bugs in here. There's soldiers out there. How much longer do we have to stay in here? Where's the wall? It's under the gallows. It's covered. By you. Stay here. Keep them quiet. We're being bitten. Out for that first step. Is he a friend of yours? in the coils of our own foolishness. Carella, what a surprise. What are you doing here? You mean apart from almost rescuing you once more? If you hadn't stolen our horses, I wouldn't be here. It's what I do. I steal. I know that. Then why do you act so surprised? Can't you at least steal from enemies? I don't have to hate to do my job. And there's something else I came for. The gold lotus that holds the eye of Tosia. Sorry.
<laughs> Had a woman steal the eye of Tosia? And she... got away? I'm sorry, my wizard. Idiot! Who is she? A clever thief. You will help me catch your friend. Friend? No friend would steal from me. She stole from me! And you stole from his Azul. You fear him. And his power over you. Not enough to stop me. <laughs> to steal from his Azul. You must be very clever. How did you do this? <laughs> it is damaged. When his Azul found out that it was a copy, he was very angry. <laughs> what will he do when he discovers you got the wrong eye? That is one reason you will get the eye back for me. The other is... You have two days. If you fail, I need two fast horses. And my friend. Beware, Conan. The eye must stay covered by the golden leaves, or it will become an extension of his Azul's sight. Bayou's horse? And yours? Carella's trail? Left the road. <laughs> Mog. I don't see Karella. Our horses are there. She must have sold them. The girl should be careful. To get my horses. <laughs> You 
Again. Was it you who scared our horses? <laughs> How else to make you do your duty? <laughs> what duty? To free us, of course. Do you think you could just stroll by, steal a horse or two, and leave us here? Huh? <laughs> Even the horses we came with have fled. Carella was here. She trade our horses for fresh ones. She was in a hurry to get to the port city of Matol. She can be there by nightfall tomorrow. Is she your woman? She is her own woman. Seven! Stay. I will dance for you. I can. We are too far behind. It will be dark soon. I have to complete my task. Uh, uh, there's a secret path through the forest to the sea. You leave here at dawn. You'll be in Matul by midday. Stay, Conan. Stay for me. It is a whistle made from the tooth of a dragon. You wear it as an amulet for luck. You will know when to use it. We rescue people and they send us here. It is the smell of death. I don't like it either. But if we are to reach Mathur, Zazul created this monster. Who speaks the name he Zazul? Conan. His greatest enemy. You do not raise your sword against a mud monster. You raise it against T. Zazul's brother. <laughs> we have a common enemy, T. Zazul. 
But he's your brother. Yes, and my enemy. He created you? He creates only abomination and death. Even as children, he followed the path of darkness. But you did not. I gave myself to the light. That is why he blinded me, murdered me, and through his black arts trapped my spirit in this place of rot. Without my sight, I am condemned to this hellhole forever. You are blind? My vision, my very perception, were taken by magic and sealed in a great jewel. The Eye of Tosia. When a man, my name was Tosia. Tosia Zul. Even now we offer this eye. Isa Zul does not have it. It was stolen by another, and a woman stole it from him, and now she's on her way to Mathul. If I possessed the eye, the evil spell that binds me to this world would be broken. We were told this was a way to Mathul. You are on it, and I will let you pass. As you believe in light and justice, bring back my life. some berries. And you, get us a bird or two, okay? I'll make a fire. The guy must be in the saddlebag. Tell me when her men come back. You know, when I catch sneak thieves, I usually kill them! You must have to commit suicide. Why? Because I stole the eye from that pig? <laughs> he stole it himself! <sighs> Too many people with power want it also. Impressive. I'm open to bids. It could be a dangerous auction. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what would you give me, Conan? Mm. Ah! Ah! You shall bring good money to the slave market in Malfu. Ah! If you live to get me there. And you will bring a few gold pieces too. Once I have tamed you. <laughs> you better kill me now. You make a fine slave, Conan. Eunuchs, you swear you off. <laughs> Not now. It's late. We must get to Malfu before the ship leaves. You. I've seen you, quiet man. You belong to Conan. Zabin, do not turn on me. Or I will follow you for the rest of your life. You know a way? Lead me. You'll live. Do not turn on me! And I will reward you. Anything you want. Do not turn on me! <laughs> you can have her. Now, show me the shortcut. <laughs> Get off of me! This is it. Boom. Traitor! Oh. 
through here? Simon! You make no sense, Conan. You wish to return the eye of Tosazul, yet you're just willing to give it back to Badad. He has Artly, Bayou, and three temple versions who are dedicated to the goddess. Yes! The goddess Sanata. I know, I know. But if the eye is so important to him, he should pay. If he lets you live, you can ask him. You don't have to come. You saved my life. I don't like debts. Anyway, someone's got to think for you. You were successful. Honor your promise and free these people. Yes, yes, of course. I see that you brought the thief as well. She's not a gift. I am more than willing to pay. Ah! Hold. We have business here. Release them. Show me the eye. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> if you free this people, if you turn me into a sculpture, I will fall and the eye will shatter. Do it! Are we? Are you okay? Yeah. And you? The eye. Stop! Do, Do not, not give, give the, the treasure, treasure to Badad. I am the queen of majesty. I ennoble men and give them purpose. Goddess Sonata. It was you. From the beginning. Always it was I, for I have many aspects. I am the queen of majesty. I ennoble men and give them purpose. I am the gentlewoman. I will feed you, soothe you, bear with you. I am pure delight, innocent joy. Play with me. I am the whore who tempts you. The hag who protects you with magic whistles. <laughs> the lover who thrills you. I am the warrior that fights at your side. When you let me. Me? When you're at your best, my dear. Goddess, why is the Eye of Tosia so important to you? Tosia Zul was far advanced along the path of light. I came to honor him for his beauty, his virtue, his nobility. He was the man to sit beside me. You loved him. But you could not help him against his brother. The evil spirit of Hisazul blinded his spirit to everything feminine. You see? And that is why he sank into the mud and became a monster. And I got a reputation for hating men. 
But eventually I came to realize that to rescue Tosia, I would need a champion. A man. But me! What about me? Without the eye, I have no protection from his Azul! Attack! Attack! Kill them all! <laughs> ah! friends have done well, Conan. Your courage gives me hope for your gender. <laughs> Will you come play with me one day? <laughs> yes. Come, sit by my fire. I will nourish you. Mm. Mm. You will have an honored place with us, always. All of you will. You promised a reward. Beyond measure, I think you said? And each time a woman looks on you with favor, you shall have it. But there is one more task. <laughs> a very pleasant task. A favor for a woman who loves. Please, return the eye to the sad man of mud and free the spirit of Tosizul from the curse. We will do as you ask. Man of mud, perhaps your graces will have a bath ready for him? Where's Corilla? Where is the eye of Tosya? She took it. Why are you smiling? Corilla took the wrong eye. <laughs> 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 Tazia Zul! Tazia Zul! Who calls the name of Tazia Zul? Conan! I know you, warrior! Enemy of my brother! As the goddess Granata requested, I have brought you the eye of Tosia. My gratitude, Conan, and to you all forever. When Corella finds out we tricked her with the Empty Blossom, she'll be mad for revenge. Don't worry. We have friends in high places now. Generous of you, O oh Great One. Did you see what I saw? Tosia lives. I had no such vision, Master. I was resting. He was freed from his bondage by Conan. He has regained his eyes and his purpose. Even so, Tosia Jul is no match for you. 
even as children, you overpowered his goodness. I do not need another detractor, especially a brother who knows of my imperfections. Imperfections, sire? I did not know you had any such shortcomings. And you will not hear any now. As always, Invincible One. May I ask something? Um, if you must. Will you now be summoning me with an additional token? Two rubies instead of one? I would prefer my earlier request. It was an accident. One of them stuck to my finger. I would settle for a finger, a small one. Do you really think... I would make you a person again. I would be an even stronger ally, sire. Or a more dangerous enemy. Is there nothing you'll add to me? Perhaps some hair or earring or two? I never forget your words, master. Nevertheless, I expect you to repay me for the extra ruby. Of course, uh, of course. What will you pay? Fresh water in your tank. It almost happened to me again. What? I was almost rich. I have charged you could have done it for me. What would you do with all this wealth? I would do things, have things. And where would you keep all these things? I'd keep it with me. That's a lot to ask your horse to carry for you. I'd buy more horses to carry it all. Well, with all these new horses, you're going to have to buy some wagons to carry all the feed. Ten or so? Well, that's more like a herd. Now, add to the fact that you have to hire people to care for the horses and the wagons. Plus, you'll need a hunter to catch food. A couple of cooks to cook up the food the hunter catches. Before you know it, you're going to be broke. Is that what you think? I have nothing against people with no money. Do you? No, of course not. Then you've learned a valuable lesson. You know what it is? Like yourself for what you are. Poor. Good. It's not fair. Stop scowling. I'm not scowling. After the ocean swallowed Atlantis, and before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. His destiny was to free the oppressed and become a king by his own hand. Kona. <laughs> this boar's hide is as tough as mine. Conan needs to chase them down quicker, so they don't build up such thick muscles. Say that the next time you're hungry. <laughs> When Zevin and I went to the last village for supplies, they spoke of a beast who roams the labyrinth of hills and canyons. The beast has taken his share of blood. They say the tribes here sacrifice children to this thing to curb its anger. I hope it waits until we have full stomachs. Why couldn't there be pleasant sounds and thoughts to go to sleep on? Like women calling from the hills who adore charming, intelligent men with beards. Hmm. Ugly! Ugly! I want you 
on me? It seems like our friend had a little bit too much grog to drink last night. <laughs> I, Zevin, maybe it was the grog and the dream demons that invaded his head. <laughs> if you had seen what I did with the head of a... Ah, with the head of a bear and the body of a man, I... We've heard it all morning. Is that the beast there? Or there? Or there? Okay, Bio 7. Look at this. You can now close that drawbridge jaw of yours. <laughs> what happened to you? My family. They've been attacked by bandits. My wife and children, little ones. Please, please hurry. I'll catch up. I just need to rest. Please help them. Tell them Bar. Bar. Wait here. I'll be back. Us. Wait. He used Bar's name. Come forward. Where is Bar? He's exhausted. But he will return. They have my children. What happened here? Found it. They attacked and ran off with the little ones. Seven. Find the tracks. It is the beast. As we heard in the villages, there's supposed to be a beast in these hills, and the tribespeople here stole children as sacrifices to its honor. There is no uh. such thing, my sister. <laughs> then what is that? It looks like the one we saw on the lower path. Two horses are making their way to the hills, quickly. Please, bring me back my children. We'll get them back. My friend has spoke for all of us. No, Zeb. We leave the horses. You leave at least one man here for protection until Bar returns. The hills ahead go higher, the ground rougher. I would only slow you down. My friend may be small, but don't misjudge his fierceness. While you are here, find out which one finds me most attractive. 
the one that finds you most attractive is you. They will be back soon, I'm sure. Where are you from? The southern region, near the Great Sea, where I once labored for a petty sorcerer. Do you have the powers of magic? Only if charm and intelligence are signs of magic. Hmm, he has humor. The men you are with, the large one. Conan. Is he a great warrior? There are none greater. No five greater, for that matter. He's quite handsome. Mm. I wonder if his wit and intelligence match his size. It's Bar. He improves each day under my watchful eye. Oh, God. Well... I see they left the small one behind. He may be small, but don't misjudge his fierceness. <laughs> <laughs> well? How is your wound? You look surprised, small man. <laughs> My wound miraculously disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> it's just rabbit blood. My children. Help me save my children. <laughs> well, you don't look like much of a meal. But let's hope you please the beast's belly. <laughs> this is strange country here. Have you noticed there are very few rabbits or birds? The beast has frightened them off. That is not what concerns me. It's true. They're moving very slowly for people trying to escape. And why would they split and weaken themselves? Perhaps they don't know we're following. Or perhaps they do. Seven, you stay here and guard this way. Bayou, you take this road, I will take the other one. Do you think it is wise for us to separate? It is the only way to find what we are looking for. child where's the child the little boy tell us where he is tell us where the child is or i will end your miserable life if i were you i would put the knife down and if i were you i would let him go i thought you both went up the road true then we saw your weapons reflect the sun well i'll remember that for next time only if we let you live for a next time why do you want to kill my friend you Murderers know well enough. Well, the small one's friends are still far up in the hill searching for me. I left them where the road separates. I set my pack horse up one trail. Then I walked up the other, doubled back, found my horse, crossed the river, came here. I let the other horse go. Good. That will give us enough time to get to the compound. But make sure we leave a clear trail. Little friend, we didn't want to make it impossible for your friends to follow. <laughs> the horses need food and water. Let's uh, rest here. Yes. Come on. 
way. Ah. Ah. Why do you call us murderers? You know as well as I. When you asked Devin where the child was, what did you mean? First, you kill my sister and her husband. You steal their son. You leave my uncle, her husband, to die, and you ask why we call you murderers! Please no, don't! If we are murderers, why are you still alive? We are in these hills for only one reason. We came across a wounded man and two women who'd been attacked by bandits. We come to help. What are you thinking? When I found my husband, he was almost dead. He told me the same story. They had come upon a wounded man. He said his women were being attacked. Two women. And when they got to the wagon, the women said their children had been taken. And he... he... My uncle went to look. When he returned, they were killing my sister and her husband and taking their son to feed to some beast that they say is roaming in the hills. You think this could be some sort of trap? It is a trap. Otley's no bigger than a small child. Do you think they meant to feed him to the... Do you we think... must move! Quickly! Eat well. You'll be a meal soon enough yourselves. You're too much of a man to be called boy. What's your name? Ida. And you're too brave to be taken so easily. How'd you become a prisoner? They said they needed help against the bandits who stole their children. My family tried to help them. They killed my parents and left my uncle to die. I'm sorry. Eat. You'll need your strength. Why? To be that for the beast? I too was snared like a rabbit. Although rabbits can escape a snare. Maybe even two rabbits. Now eat. I left him here to guard this. We follow them! Now! They're only a few hours ahead. Those are Otley's boats. Then he's alive. A child's feet? Eat her! He's still alive, too. We waste no more time. Let's go. Come on. Ah! Yeah, come on. Ah, master. Has the trap been set? The little man has been captured. And Conan? We shall catch him, Master. Do not fear. I must say, I would love to see Conan take the first bites of that miserable little troll. I hope you will have that pleasure. When the labyrinth monster finds Oh, it will be a titanic contest, Master. I do not want a titanic contest. I want a slow murder. Torture. Something to relish. Something to remember. History will grant you that. I am history, 
and the present, and history will say what I wish it to say, and no more. Of course. Of course. Of course, oh great one. Why don't you just shut up? <laughs> I've never seen a full-grown man so tiny before. Are there any others like you in your family? No. All the others in my family are tall. Why are you small, then? I believe the great spirit that made us felt there was a need for us, a place. I try to prove him right. Such a pretty child. A mother could grow fond of you. You killed my mother. Yes. And tomorrow night, you'll be nothing more than this bone. Nothing to say? <laughs> oh. Huh? Uh. <gasps> I could take your clothes and dress the boy. And what would the beast know? Hmm? What would Conan know when he saw someone dressed like you tied to the pillar waiting for the beast? <laughs> Be careful, little man. No more trouble. Or the boy will take your place. <laughs> He says he doesn't like it. They make it too easy for us to follow. This is a perfect place for an ambush. I'll go ahead and look. No. Ours is a race of fierce hunters. And we women are as skilled as the men. I can see that. You stay here and rest. And I'll go ahead. Where are you going? There are some things that a woman prefers to do in private. We should stay together. You heard. We women can take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. She was indeed a great hunter. Her knife drew the blood of the beast before she died. They lay out a plan to take me so they can snare Conan. And they take you, in case something happens to me, to trick Conan to believe you are me. Who would want Conan? Who could conceive of such a plan? There's only one man that knows all of us. Just one. Who would spin such a web as this? His is all. We must escape. Whoa! Please! Trinkets for a blind man? Silence only? Are you friends or something else? Uh, we're. Uh, you're. You're in the presence of. of a. Uh, Royal uh, hunting party. Royal hunting party. <laughs> Royal yes. hunting yes. party. 
And uh, <laughs> what are you hunting? What are we hunting? We're hunting the beast. The beast? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Too good to fall for such a trap. Pretending the boy is me. No! And what will his soul say when you fail? What? You need me alive. You're a smart one. How did you know about his Azul? Because I have what you lack. A mind. Well, mind this, little man. Try to escape again and I'll slit the boy's throat before your eyes. There is a fight here, all right. Blood. Oh, Ita. We do not know whose blood that is. Remember, our friend may be small, but he can sting. Well, if that is true, then why do they not kill him? Why? They want us to follow. Yes, they keep Otley alive. To lead us into the country of the beast. What sorcery is this? He's Azul. His traps never end. I've heard of such a one. How? Oh. In the villages to the north, there's a wizard with a castle. And a few have entered. Those foolish enough to try, never return. It is whispered that he speaks to the skulls of the dead, and that his power is stronger than the thunder, and more horrifying than fire or flood or death. We have seen his magic, and we are still alive. Zebin's right. If it's his Azul, it's not Otley they're after. It's you. If it's me they want, it's me they will get. Let's go! Hold fast your spirits. These rabbits aren't cooked yet. I may be playing, but I can strike hard! Oh, uh, oh, don't, don't dirt me! I've been robbed once, there's nothing left. We will not harm you. Oh, well, they've taken all my food and water and my supplies and valuables! <laughs> what, what will I do? <laughs> we have extra food and water. Oh. You are kind. Maybe you can help us. How can a blind man alone in this wilderness help you? There's a party of bandits. We've followed the tracks here. Ah, oh, these are very bad people. Why are they following them? A friend and a boy are their prisoners. They're to be sacrificed to the beast. Two men and two women that robbed me. They had a small man with them. He had a beard. And a boy with sandy-colored hair. Petita. How did you know our friend was a small man with a beard and the boy had sandy hair? Ah, an old man alone in such a wilderness might be safer pretending to be blind. <laughs> so, what else can I do for you? Blind men who can see you have done enough. They are going to the hills. To a compound in the hills, near the maze of the beast. How do you know this? I heard them. I saw them when their horses reached the hilltop. I know this compound. It is well guarded. Strangers could not get into it easily. What do you have in mind? Blind man.
It's a diet of a man for yeah. the beast to kill! Ah! If Otley and the boy are in there and we charge the place, they're sure to be killed. We have to enter quietly. Now it's time for you to lose your sight again. I will find them. And then I'll get the gate open. Good luck. Blind man. <laughs> Wait over there. Water for a blind man! Trinkets to trade! Please, let me in! Food! Water! Ah, I'm open again. Let me in, please! Please, open the gate! Please! Come in, old man. I hear! Give me your hands. Let me cut you free. Little man! When the dancing stops, the ceremony will begin. We will take you down the river to the maze of rocks where you will be tied to the sacrificial pillar. Conan cannot be far behind, so... We'll leave him a trail leading right to you. <laughs> and you, since Otley is here and alive, we no longer need you. Zaya wants you for a child, so you'll be going with her. I'd rather die at the hands of the beast. <laughs> Not fight the dead. <laughs> Are you all right? No time for that. Cut me free. making good time, too. Oh. Too good for a blind man, don't you think? You think he had help? Is Conan here? Where is he? You know, don't you? I know nothing! I'll find out soon uh, enough. Uh, oh. 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 Oh.
down to the tide. Ah, they have escaped. Bar went after them. Bio, you stay here with him. I am going after Bar. I'm gonna stay here and fight. I won't leave you. man has gone swimming. You'll have to take the place with the beast. How does it feel to be killed by a small man? Your executioner! See my face and my purpose. You are a dead man. Face me without your evil magic. And we will see who will die. <laughs> Kill me. You've tried and failed. So have you. You will pay 
for all the horrible things you have done. Listen to me, barbarian. I will pay for nothing. Your head shall rest on a pole outside my chamber, and I will watch it grow moldy and rot away like the body of your Tamira. <laughs> You have killed a fire, and I am still here. I still live. I cannot be destroyed. So why are you here? Do you fear me that much? I fear nothing. Then show yourself. Face to face. Your next vision of me will be on the day of your funeral. Shortly before your painful last breath. That is not my destiny. By Krom, I will live to destroy you and free this people. Krom does not rule me. He will. With the sword of Atlantis. Look for me, I will be coming for you. <laughs> Blind man, what will you do now? I think I'll go back to the compound. Pick the place clean, see if I can steal enough to start a tavern. Sell grog, I'll call it. The blind man's in. A wise idea. <laughs> I want to thank you again. And tell you that you will always be welcome in the villages near the Whitestone Mountains. Do they have women there who favor small men with beards? They have women there that favor fine men. I will miss you. I will miss you too, Rabbit. And I want to thank you for having faith in me. I will try to grow up and be as great as you. Stay out of snares. Well, I've learned one thing from all of this. Aye, and what is that? The beast was uglier than you. <laughs> Not by that much. <laughs> <laughs> After the ocean swallowed Atlantis, and before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. His destiny was to free the oppressed and become a king by his own hand. Kona.
There's my saddle over there! Now, if you're calling this rotting piece of leather and a sheepskin a saddle, you might say I'm improving its condition. You runt of an orc's litter. I'll improve your condition by knocking your ugly little head off your spiny little shoulders. You try, you stiff-legged bugbear, and you'll be doing a snake dance for real. I'll show you a snake dance. Kill each other later. I would like to reach Zolan in three or four days. Yeah, he can wait a day or two. If the Zolan shift and joins us, we will find safety in his territory. We had Vinison left. A whole hind leg. We did, that's right. What happened to it? What'd he say? It's gone. I got that. How? I woke up. I was hungry. If you slept better, we'd eat better. It was mostly bone. A whole hind quarter? You could at least left a hoof. There's not enough room in your mouth for two feet. Can we at least go to Bear Golf? There are very beautiful women there. <laughs> we go where Crom and the Sword lead us. And now, let's go.
mighty Urzan has lost his virgin bride to the savage barbarian. And you thought it would be so simple to persuade old Mithron to give you his daughter's hand in marriage. Now, how do you propose to empty the treasury and ransack the land? Ha! So much for an easy conquest. <laughs> Enough of your buzzard squawking. Oh, all of your plans. Swept away by a primitive barbarian. <laughs> a painted savage. <laughs> Silence. Mock me no more. Adriana is mine. I want her back. Oh, and how do you expect to accomplish this? Cast a spell. Send this upstart Garth to the demon's pit. He is immune to my spell. How is that possible? When Garth was a youth, he decreed that no stag in the Forbidden Forest should ever be killed. Since then, he has been shielded from all spells. By the mighty Antler God! <laughs> ah! I'll attack. I'll wipe him and his kind off the face of the earth. <laughs> that would be the death of your army. <laughs> because to reach Garth's stronghold, you have to go through a very narrow canyon passageway and your army would be slaughtered. <laughs> I warn you, old woman. I took away your sight. If you are ridiculing me, you will rue this day. A small group. Led by the warrior who wields the sword of Atlantis could sneak through. Yes. Yes. I have heard of the sword, handed down by the ancient kings. Who is this warrior? Conan the Sumerian. Why can't I do this myself? Because he is Conan, and you are not. Bring him here. <laughs> he won't come. Make him come! I have intercepted a spell cast by Yantona. You have the audacity to interrupt my work with shenanigans of a blind, useless old hag. She has drawn Conan to Yursath's castle. To Yursath's castle? Then he must travel through the Elven Forest. I know of no other route. We owe the old crone a debt. For once, Conan has taken the path which leads directly into my power. Is there no fairness? Do I not deserve success in this endeavor? Patience, Master. Patience. We will keep a close watch. There will be other opportunities. Patience. 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 I am running out of patience. So what?
Greetings, Conan. Have no fear. I mean you no harm. I fear no man or beast. Which are you, Wizard? I am Ursath, lord of this province. Why did you bring us here? You think I summoned you? You arrived in my village of your own free will. I thought you would cooperate more if women showed you the way, rather than soldiers. Sorcery brought me here. But this sword will take me away. When you hear what I have to say, you will not regret your visit to Ursaf. A few days ago, my bride was abducted. <laughs> I will pay a hundred pieces of gold if you find her and bring her back to me. Find another bride, and it will be less trouble for both of us. Is not a beauty like that worth rescuing? <laughs> not to me. <laughs> Perhaps the Sumerian would prefer swords made of hardened iron. How many men can you arm? Bring back my bride and I'll supply you with 100 swords. That would equip the men of Zolan. You will need that. I'm aware of that. Who took her? Garth, a savage who flies under the Antler God banner. Bring me his head. And I'll make it 200. 300? 300 swords could help raise an army. I know that. You'll like these. Potions that is concocted will take time to work. Good. Try to get everyone to drink the wine and find out where the girl is. Hmm. The potion is strong. If you must quench your thirst, drink water. Of course. Uh -huh, here. Uh -huh. What are the horses? This donkey.
Is he dead? Not that lucky. It looks like he drank his own wine. How long will the potion last? He doesn't know how it works on little people. <laughs> now what do we do? Yeah. Wake <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Wake up, you half-wit. Yeah. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> Please, please, not so loud. At the moment, someone is shooting his horse inside my head. I will nail a horseshoe to your butt unless you tell us what you saw. Have you seen the girl? You would not believe what I have seen. She kissed him. She kissed Garth? Yes. No, she didn't kiss him. She devoured him. Mm. She didn't devour him. She consumed him with her passions. I swear I saw flames. Then, Zevin, you wouldn't believe what happened. She jumped up and with her long, naked legs wrapped round his waist, he took her into the tent. What happened next was... I passed out. If she's in love with the bandit, she will not want to come back. I'll bring her back. I gave him my word. Is it to protect me? Or to mark me as yours? Both. Then I should have two bracelets. I'll do even better than that. I'll give you a slave. Me. Take the fastest horses and hunt this barbarian down. Find him and hold him for me. His death is mine! 
I'll follow personally and I'll cut him to pieces. I'll roast his teeth over the sacred fire. Wear them around my neck. Go! Why are we stopping? My horse is going lame. He can make a poultice and fix it. How long do you need? We can be riding before the sun crosses our shadows. Huh. Let's find shelter behind those rocks. Come on! Cha! Hello! Sooner or later, you will have to eat. I will feast at your funeral. Why did you not take Garth when you had the chance? I have no argument with him. Why should I kill him? He will surely come after you. I know. And then? Crom will decide. Oh, I only hope he's paying attention. If you will not eat, at least have some water. Are you trying to be kind or just concerned I will slow you down? Your thirst has already made that decision. You move like an animal. A great, powerful animal, but still an animal. When I was a small girl, I had a dream. It haunted me endlessly. A beast man would come and take me away. He will carry me to a place so far away, it could never be reached. You think I am the beast man? You are taking me to Ursath, are you not? It is said Ursath was sired by a caco demon, raised and suckled by imps and succumbi. He made a pact with his father. He would be given sorcerer's secrets, mysteries of the dark universe. How did you know this? He will send you to your death. Your words are full of doom and threats. There was peace in my life once. My father was the Lord of Mirth, place of a hundred lakes, place of peace and prosperity. My father loved to fish in those lakes. He kept his nets very well mended such as he did with his life. If it is so beautiful, you should have stayed. I had been promised to Gar, but Ursath coveted my father's lands. He cast a spell compelling my father to give him my hand in marriage. Garth rescued me. He loves me, and I him. What you are doing is wrong. We are not meant to be apart. Let me go. I can't. First chance I get, I will kill you. We will see about that.
Try harder. Uh. Hold. Hold. I'm up. I'm alive. Get off the answer and ready. We have to move out of here now. It won't be so easy the next time. Is that your horse, Zebin? Is Conan part mountain goat that he cannot be trapped in the rocks? It seems as if he's a great deal more like a herd of bulls. And you seem to derive pleasure from his escape. He did not escape master he was never caught in the first place a play on words do not banter with me of course oh great one is there anything else you desire of me well good news would be a start should i want for a pleasant message before i appear again yes it would be desirable it could take a long time. Would you like some bird droppings in your water? Or will you be silent? <sighs> ah, so. You are learning some manners at last. We'll go in this direction, over the mountain. That will not stop Garth from following us. Garth will split the forces. Half will come after me, the others will follow you. I'll meet you later. Yes, an ambush. How can you be sure Garth will split his force? He will. of the Sumerian. The horse went in this direction. Adraina is with them. Conan went up that mountain. Zygon takes six men. Captured the Sumerian. His death belongs to me.
To kill, kill. You lucky Sumerian. If the dagger was in my hand, you'd be dead. I got him. I got him. swords he will betray you find yourself rotting in a dungeon Garth is right herself is not to be trusted Conan their words ring of truth I will do what I promised to do welcome Conan you have done more than I asked you have brought back my beautiful bride and you have brought me the brigand Garth, alive. My part of the bargain is complete. That it is. I am very pleased, Sumerian. Your swords are being prepared. Keep your swords. You lied to me. It was you who abducted Ariana. You separated what was not meant to be separated. How dare you speak to me with such insolence! No one can lie to me or can buy me. You want his head? Pay him! You think he's not human? He's human enough for my sword! By Krom, this time you got the right one. Sorry, didn't get your swords. Swords that turn into flowers serve no one. Not even a beast man. I am sorry I said that. You are not my beast man. Because of you, I was able to slay him. Ride with us. Share our journey. We each ride our own journeys. You enjoy your life and your woman. Under all that muscle is a big romantic heart. One day it will beat faster for a woman you want. There is no hope for both of us. This is a heart you try to put your dagger into. Thank you for making me fail. My pleasure. Oh. Maybe I will write with you. <laughs> Not on your life.
After the ocean swallowed Atlantis, and before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. His destiny was to free the oppressed and become a king by his own hand. Kona. Conan will support Rindon's revolt. We will cross the mountains. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I'd like to see you. Him or he'll eat you. Say police. <laughs> I crumb. Am I to go without food? Give us what we want, and I promise your death will be swift. It's worth 300 gold pieces to us. If we fail, Zorga's revenge will be sure. Brave warrior who dares touch the Amazon child. I'm Conan of Sumeria. I am Aura, deliverer of the Amazons. Rise, Conan. He who shall be king of Sumeria is a friend to all Amazons. How do you know my name? Your destiny travels on the wind. As such, it has been ordained. Have you also ordained my next meal? Catch him yourself. Ah, but you do this so well. <laughs> I 
I want to fish like Conan. You need better bait. This is Aura. The Amazon. <clears throat> Your friends must be believers of tall tales, Conan. <laughs> Put your weapons down. Careful, Conan. To prevent an Amazon, a man must want to die. Like spiders, they use us for our bodies, sap our strength, and then kill us. Stories told by men whose weakness we found uninviting. We are not the destroyers of men, but their protectors. It is true that only women may live in our land, but I honor you. Do not fear me. When a male child is born of the union with Amazons, we must deliver that special child to his father. Is this where you're going with this child? Yes, Conan. This child belongs to Prada, of the land of Hesmir. As the Deliverer, I am sworn by oath to kill all that harms this child. Why were these men after you? They were Zorga's men. Zorga? King of the Hesmirs? Yes. But he is not their rightful king. Prada, his brother, belongs on the throne. And this child is the next heir in line. The road to the throne will be a difficult one. Zorga is a disciple of the evil Hisazul. Then we will help you to return, this little prince. It will be... Hmm. A pleasure. And all mine. Whoever said that women weaken men's legs? Seek not the Amazon, Hisazu. From you, I seek information, not advice. It has been prophesied that the Amazon delivers the next king of Hesmir. Yes. And I will participate in that pleasure and power. That cannot happen. You will drown in that cesspool you call home unless you find a way. Conan the Sumerian will stand in your way, but Zorga, your disciple, could provide an answer. Then bring him forth, and be gone with your useless self. Zorga, my friend, I desire to reward you for your loyal service. A child journeys to Hesmer to claim your throne. What child can threaten the throne that is supported by the mighty Hisazul? Tis the child of your brother Prada. You must prevent them from being reunited if you wish to remain king of Hesma. I know of him and have already sent soldiers. But how can I repay your good thoughts? What can I give you? <laughs> you don't give me anything. What I want, I take. That will await your success as certain as death awaits your failure. I will succeed, O oh Great One. The child travels with Kona. They should die together. And this time, send your best soldiers. The Valley of Freedom. Soon my task shall end. And mine as well. And Sumeria shall be free again. Nothing shall please the Amazons more, Conan. Why do you care about Sumeria? We care about freedom.
We seek Prada. I said, we seek Prada. <clears throat> Bring me Prada, and maybe you should all be spared. Bring me Prada, or maybe the bravest will die first. Where is Prada? Release the boy. I am Prada. Not another dream, sir. It was not Aura. Who was this temptress? For one who has such bad dreams, you should give up your naps. Tell me, or I will foul your water. She is yet to be born, but will be a protector of Kona. Enough of your riddles. Who knows this enemy? Behold the essence of your fear, master. Where could the villagers have gone, Conan? They're hiding from Thorga's soldiers. They couldn't have gone far. They didn't take anything with them. We come in peace. We seek Prada. We are friends of Prada. This is the child of Prada. Will he not claim him? Who are you? This is Hora of the Amazons. And I'm Conan. Conan? Conan? Come out, everyone! This is Conan the Sumerian. He will protect us from the soldiers. Come out! You have nothing to fear. We come in peace. Can you show us the way to the castle? At the end of the valley, where the sun disappears. We have to be there before nightfall. You have risked enough already. I go alone. First, fill your bellies, and then we search for Prada. The few of us against Zorga's many soldiers? I'll show you a way in. No, just tell us. You must stay here. Someone has to guard the child of Prada. We will deal with Zorga. And I with you, Amazon. You act too fast, sire. Vanish and send me Zorga. <laughs> As you wish, sire. I have taken Prada prisoner, O Bountiful One. Soon I will find out where he has hidden the child. He is ignorant of the child. Those who know are on their way to you. Well, then I will kill them all, Almighty One. No. Only kill Conan and his slaves. The Amazon you should take alive. 
But what about the child? The child will be yours when the Amazon is mine. She will bear me a son and heir. Surely this will loosen your tongue, Prada. I know of no child. And if I did, I wouldn't tell my twisted brother. Is there any way to talk about your family? Especially when I've come to spare your life and use you as bait for your rescuers. Your talk of rescuers is as wild as your talk of a child, Zorga. Do you hear how my brother indulges me with his denials? They come to free you and unite you with your son. <gasps> now he is my son. Has his Azul poisoned every facet of your brain? <laughs> I have none! Then you deny your union with the Amazon? <laughs> he really didn't know, did he? <laughs> Talia, she bore me a son. Yes, congratulations. I guess that makes me an uncle. Well, women always provided you with everything you needed. Is that what this is all about? I am so sorry for you, my brother. You are motivated only by childish jealousy. Mother always preferred you over me. You should have shared more. But the mighty kisses you. He prefers me. And he will provide me with what I crave most. Your son. To kill. He says you only wants the woman. A desire which I find thoroughly overrated. The boy said these tunnels ended a staircase that lead to the dungeons. How does he know this? Servants and slaves know such things. Children should not. Check the other tunnel. begins. Get ready. Our guests have arrived. Never again, Prada, will anyone threaten my throne again. <laughs> it's not your throne, Zorga. It's Prada's throne. A woman? Now I have reason to worry. Worry at your weakness. At the ascendancy of the Amazons. I have a better plan. You mean, switch them? For the twin brothers. Zeppelin! Mm.
Thank the gods. At least they didn't get Prada. Oh. A Zorga would have our heads if they did. Oh. Silence! Oh. Oh. I wonder where that coward Zorga is hiding, eh? <laughs> Your soldiers think less of you than I do, Zorga. You have done well. Behold the son of Prada and Thalia. Behold Mathar. Behold. Mata, Prince of Esmir. I am Zorga, the weak. I'm Zorga. The cowardly. Not now, you fool. The great Isazul has spared your life. Fail once more and he will never spare it again. Believe me! The only thing worse than walking through the woods is walking uphill or through the river or rocky ground. Look, you don't even like riding on the back of a horse. Only if I'm behind you. Oh, that's cute. If you're behind me, that's very nice. Look, you can sit in your own chair when we get back to the village. Sit? When do we sit? Do we ever sit? No, we run, we ride, we fight. We're lucky if we get some sleep. Oh, you think Conan's gonna get any sleep? He and our Amazon princess lady, they have more in common than just the swords. You know, if you'd hunt more, stop worrying about what Conan does. We'd eat better. We eat? We eat just fine. Look, we keep ourselves well fed. We're lucky. I'd hate to be within 10 miles of Conan if he were hungry. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? I didn't hear it, but I understood it. I've always understood you, Zemin. It's just that sometimes I choose not to. The sky is blue. No, it is not raining. I'd like to fly like a bird. Ha! Fly like a vulture. Eat like a vulture. Oh. Did you understand that? Not all of it. That's probably best. No, no, don't play games with me. Tell me what he said. Uh, you won't like it. I like it. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I promise, I'll like it. All right, okay. He said, you are like a vulture who likes to sit in a tree and wait for something to die, so that he can eat it. That is why I choose not to understand you. All right. Will you return to your world? Yes, Conan. My task here is soon complete. The child is safe. You are a great warrior. Oh, but none can match the brave Conan, king of the Sumerian. A match for any Amazon. 
I see you only as a woman. And I, only as a man. Now can I get some breakfast? If you can catch it and cook it. <laughs> Where's Aura? She must be with my child. Let's go. Aura. Uh, I tried to stop them. But there were too many. Conan, I'm sorry. Uh... You did well, my little warrior. was just a diversion. It was Marta they sought. No. The child is part of the diversion. He is a bait. Bait for who? He's Azul. He wants Aura falling into a trap. Why? I don't know. Zem, come with us. What about Bayou and me? Hardly. You stay here and protect the village. We'll go after Marta and Aura. The young boy is dead. Here, this is good. Whoa. Let's let the horses drink. We have a way to go. Can't wait to get rid of this child. She's been 
Find a place to cross down the river. It's her, the sorceress. By the power of the warrior Amazons, help me! Well, no one hears you, woman. They hear. We'll be greatly rewarded, my friend. We'll be offered the Valley of Hesmer. Nothing is worth listening to this infant howl any longer. <laughs> but is it the child that interests Zorka? Nonsense. Zorka's interested only in keeping his throne. As Azul, he's interested only in this. Amazon. Me? I desire quiet! There. Now everyone has what he wants. Bring the Amazon to me. Why should you be the one to carry her to his Hazul? Why? Because... Oh, you have somewhere better to be. <laughs> what is the fastest way to the castle? We must head to the mouth of the river if we're to have any chance of catching them. They will have crossed further upstream. Let's go. Right. I know it's mother. We have to get the basket. Follow me. The sun is safe, Marta. Just a little wet. I want to thank you both for your bravery. And you, young man, you will not leave my sight until you make me a grandfather. Aura would never put the child in danger. The Amazons know our destiny, Conan. She must have known that you'd be there to save him. What about her destiny? Should not worry about her destiny. She can move freely back to her world now. Besides, in the face of Aura the warrior, Zorga's men are impotent. I see also as a woman, a partner. Did you make love to her, Conan? We made love to each other. Well, and now there is much to fear. What do you mean? Or is with child, Conan. Be clear with your words, Prada. What child? Your child, Conan. <laughs> Amazon women, they don't make love to us. They make children with us. And now that she's with child, she's lost her power to transform. So she can no longer change into a warrior to defend herself? I must help her. Zabin, take them back to the village. Aura is my destiny. Abel in the water? <laughs> You've done well, soldier. Sire. I think uh, promotion is an order. Shall we say to sergeant? Is that all? You are ungrateful, 
with my kindness. His Azub regret your fortune in this piddling promotion is all you share? Sharing is highly overrated. Besides, his Azul only offers me a son. So the, uh, the child is dead, my lord. What? He lies! If this is true, you die where you stand! Uh -huh. Forgive me, I, I, I hurled him into the rapids myself, my lord. No! Conan would never let the prince of Hesmir die! Conan has nothing to do with this! Conan has everything what? to do with this. And I will have everything to do with you. I will possess you, my beautiful Amazon. You will never have me. I carry the child of Conan. His child was to be mine. My son to rule Cimmeria forever. Instead, it is Conan once more. Uh, the dream. Dream. The dream, the dream was real after all. Prepare your troops, Zorga. Conan will never see his son alive. As you wish. So nice to see you again. Get him! Power of the Amazons, help me protect our friend! Yes, my beloved Prada, it is I. Our son is safe, thanks to Conan. For this, the Amazons owe him for all eternity. Bury your sadness this day, Conan, and forevermore. Think only of the life that Aura has given you. You have a daughter, Conan, and she will always be there to protect you. As her mother before her. Will I ever see my Amazon child again? Yes, Conan. Her name will be Aurora, Princess of Samaria. You will meet her at the end of your quest.
we have far to go. 